Congratulations, counselor. Yet another win. You're the famous Yoshi Lomax. I don't know what it is you did, but I can promise you, he is going down. Well, where have I heard that before? I'm just a bad woman. Do whatever I want. Do whatever I want. I don't need no Miss Lomax is now considered a fugitive of the United States. Catching fugitives is my business, which makes her my suspect. And here's a letter from the mayor on Louis Santana's behalf. There's cash in there as well. Mr. Santana is to be released upon processing. You know, I can be disbarred for life and in prison for this. Would it be easy to get rid of? It's as good as gone. So let's toast to success. Chastity the social media influencer and rock star killer. Maria from Miami. And Lucy, aspiring actress. Sydney, hip hop lover and writer, so I'm told. And my quiet one, Mackenzie. Well, hello, ladies. I'm Bella. I have a question for everyone. Why do you think rich men cheat? Control. I'm going home. Don't go. Attention. You bring the total package to the table. You just need the right friends. Are you my friend? No. But you can be mine. And power. I stuck my neck out for you. Thank you! And I pulled the strings to get you onto this show. Take all three away. And he becomes desperate. So what's with the apples? Well, it represents knowledge, wisdom, beauty, and power. Here, you will learn how to gain ownership of all. I'm gonna send you the money for the ticket. And I already have your room set up at the Palms. You do that, babe. Because once you have possession of the apple, no man alive will have power over you. You make it sound so easy. Oh, it's not easy. Right, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Save it. Save it. I get no auditions. I'm going to stop you right here. I get no callbacks. I really need to get upstairs. They stole all my money. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but you're no better than the rest of us. Right now they have a do not disturb until this afternoon. If they call you, great. How is he gonna call me if he doesn't- If not, charge it to the game. Make no mistake, ladies. In order to succeed in this game, you must be willing to play it out till the very end. This business is all types of savage. What are you doing? But if you follow my blueprints, I guarantee you will become a millionaire within the next three years. Possibly way earlier. So, are you ready to take that step? Another day, another dollar. Nah, nah. Ain't about money, don't you holler. Nah, nah. Honey, miles and racing, man. That money conversation been my only motivation. Yeah, yeah. Up y'all, this is Ryan Lawrence, and you're watching Real Talk with the director. Hey everyone, it's your girl Catherine Nunez, and you're watching Real Talk with the director and the council on the IE Network. Real Talk. Hey, I'm Gina Liu, and you're listening to Real Talk with the director on Dollhouse Radio. Hey, what's up? It's Logan Browning, and you're listening to Real Talk with the director on Dollhouse Radio. Real Talk. Hi, this is Alana De La Garza, and you're listening to Real Talk with the director on Dollhouse Radio. Hi, I'm Diane Franklin from Bed de 
half dead and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. You're listening to Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. Hi, this is Holly Capri, and you're watching Real Talk with the Director on Blog Talk Radio. Hey, I'm Stormy Maya, and you are listening to Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. This is Vicky Judy, Orange is the New Black, and I'm here with Real Talk. Yo, what up? This is Jay Ellis, and you're watching Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. Keep it locked. Hi, I'm Frida Park. All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing less. What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Real Talk with the Director and the Jedi Council. I'm the Director. I'll be with you for the next 120 minutes or so. And Real Talk is brought to you every Monday by B2S Media. We broadcast live via the World Wide Web on YouTube.com slash IE Network TV, the IE Network. And of course, Twitter and Facebook, aka Meta. So, another Monday, very special Monday. Why is it a special Monday? I don't know why it's special. Because we every day above ground is a special day, right? So, yo, welcome back. Thank you for joining us. We have a, uh, we do have a special, some special guests today, and it's uh, it's, it's you know, it's very important that we bring and support during Black History Month. You know, and support, well, not just during Black, we should do it all the time. Support Black creators, support Black excellence, support Black storytellers, um, people of color. You know, I ain't trying to leave nobody out, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm Black. So I'm going to make sure we support our people. Um, we do have some guests coming on that's going to be uh, some people that I've worked with very closely and... Uh, they are uh they do celebrate the excellence, especially during, you know, uh the fact that, you know, all of this time that they've been doing it, been doing it for years. When you do something successful for a certain amount of years, come on. You know what I mean? So Kiki Switz is gonna join us a little later. Um and and some of the cast from uh Playing Dirty. Now that was based on her best selling novel of the same name, Playing Dirty. Uh, it is now available on Tubi for free. So shoot on over there after you watch the show. Shoot on over there to Tubi and check it out. Um, and even if you go right now, just come back, come back because they'll be here about 9 30. So you want to go check it out? It's about you know, with the commercials, about a half hour, you know, uh, sitting. Go check it out, come back and 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 kick it and you talk to her about how it all started, right? Um, I did work with her, obviously, on that project. Myself, my brother, and we directed the project. We got a lot of, you know, had a lot of great time uh, working on set. A lot of uh, really good people that we met and talented actors that we worked with. And uh, I'm going to have some of them on today. So should be um, should be cool. And then, you know, the next couple of weeks, we're going to be promoted because being that, just like I said last week, I had the cast of Groupie on and still go watch Groupie on Tubi. It's free. Go check it out. Groupie, the blueprint of a self-made millionaire. Um, and now playing dirty is uh, available on Tubi. So we're very excited. The entire cast crew Above the line, below the line, creators, directors, producers, we're all we're all in. So definitely come back and check us out. Um next week we'll probably bring some more on. And of course, happy Black History Month, everybody. We said that last week. But we do want to before we you know not to not to start off on a sad note, but we you know, hip hip hop lost another another one of its uh legends and a Long Island legend as well. Uh, True Goy, the Dove, a.k.a. Plug 2 from De La Soul, the legendary De La Soul. Long Island stand-up. Uh, he passed away, unfortunately. Um, so shout out and rest in peace to, to him and uh, his family. Condolences sent from 
from Real Talk to the family. And like I said, Long Island lost another one. We just not too long ago, we you know, we lost Granddaddy IU, who was another hip hop Long Island legend, you know, and uh, a lot of hip hop legends come from Long Island, whether people know it or not. You know, we still have arguably the greatest MC in hip hop that is Rakim Allah. So, you know, um, you know, like I said, man, De La Soul was, that's a good group, man. I love that group. They were representing uh, Long Island, Amityville, stuff like that. Man, they was dope, Bill. They was, they, they was, it was dope. So, ah, rest in peace, man. We losing them. And he was only like 50 something years old. Or something. He was young, young dude. So, um, just try to take care of yourselves out there, people. I'm not sure. I, I'm not really going to disclose what he died, how he died, whatever. That's kind of irrelevant only because he's gone. And, uh, but, I will say, you know, just everybody make sure you try to take care of yourself and take check in on others, check on each other as, you know, every day is a gift. That's why it's called the present, right? So we'll leave you with that. <laughs> um, we also have a guest, um, another guest host today, gentleman who worked with me on this project, works with me on a lot of projects. Um you know, he is a host of his own show. He's got several shows. He's a host of that I've done, done some uh, guest appearances on. Um, and on top of that, you know, he is a storyteller himself. Like we said, here at Real Talk this month, especially, we do it every month, but especially this month, we celebrate Black storytellers. So I have a Black storyteller as one of our guest co-hosts today. And I'm going to bring him on right on the other side of the weekend recap, which I'm about to do right now. Wow, that is brought to you by BoxOfficeMojo.com for the weekend of February 10th to the 12th. Number five, Puss in, <laughs> this is still up there, huh? 5.6 million, Puss in Boots. Number four, 80 for Brady, <laughs> made 5.8 million. Dollars in the it made twenty four million dollars in the box office. So, 80, 80 for Brady. That looks actually kind of it looks ridiculous, but it looks funny. Um, number three. Oh boy, James Cameron. I ain't even gonna. I'm not even gonna turn Kevin loose today on James Cameron. So James, this is the twenty fifth anniversary of Titanic. So they'll put that back in the theater. <laughs> So that's made six point seven million domestic over the weekend, and brings the worldwide total up to twenty three million worldwide. Um, <laughs> boy, he tried to get that, and then Avatar: Way of the Water is seven, another seven point two million, which brought us up to somewhere like two point two billion dollars and uh, worldwide. And of course, number one, of course it would be number one. <laughs> Magic Mike, <laughs> the last dance. <laughs> but yo, shout out to Jen Garcia. She, you know, that's one of my homies. She's a friend of the show, a friend of, you know, she 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 put a post up. She's always putting funny posts up. And she puts up this post talking about, yo, man, forget y'all men. I can't find one mf -er to come see Magic Mike with me. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, <laughs> be happy. Be grateful that he's not rushing to the theater himself in the head of you. <laughs> so, yo, but shout out to Jen Garcia. Um, Magic Mike's Last Dance is 8.3 million at 18 million worldwide. Okay. This is his last dance, people. It's his last dance. You better catch him. But that is the weekend recap brought to you by BoxOverSmojo.com. Thanks for you being there. I'm here. I'm the director. You're our audience. And I brought my Jedi Council with me. And plus one, if you don't believe me, here they are, Ralph, Kev. What the hell's going on over there, Ralph? I hear a bunch of stuff. What's up? 
I you hear got construction. I, this is how you got construction <laughs> going on over there, bro. You trying to break? You trying to break out of prison over there? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are hearing. Uh, I'm hearing. I hear like Woody Woodpecker with a headache, and he just went crazy. It's just it sounds wild, but we, we'll let you, you know work that I, out. I think I think only thing that you're hearing is the sound of my computer, the fan on the computer. That fan there is it. whopped up then, bro. <laughs> if, that's, if that's the fan, Lord have mercy. We need to get that fixed, brother. But hold up. Um, also, my our guest uh, host for the night, like I said, I worked with the man before. He's a man of many talents and many skills. My man, Michael, Michael, seven, a.k.a. Seven. You in the building, my brother. Hey. How y'all doing? What's y'all up, doing? Man? But, um, What's happening? What's yeah, going on, you, got, you, you got you got my hero on here, Kev. What's going <laughs> on, man? What's good? What's going oh on, yo? Yo, I was not expecting this, man. Yo, <laughs> all right, yeah, oh, man, doing, yo. Man. So, like, like you said, man. So, Seb, Seb had me a guest on a couple of his shows. He got a few of them. So I'm like, oh, you got Geekcaster. <laughs> you got you got the Politrix. <laughs> so we got to get Kev on politics because oh, yeah. Kev, Kev, because you know, I, yeah, politics. I let him tell you what it's about, but Kev, Kev, I'm like, okay, we need to Kev on that show last week <laughs> yeah. with you, girl. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. tell oh, us really? about tell tell us, Sev, tell us about your shows that you got going on, the ones that I was yeah, so, politics. Yeah, so they're all based on lifestyle stuff like food caster, soul caster, but. Specifically, Geek Cast, which I've had Wes on before, talking about everything sci fi, fantasy, geek culture. And, um, you know, th- those things are cool, but I wanted, to, I wanted to do a show where we could talk about all the things you're not supposed to talk about, which is <laughs> politics, <laughs> sex, and religion. <laughs> politics, figured, sex, <laughs> religion. <laughs> so I figured, you know, in 2023, you know, you know, life is short, you never know what could happen. Why not cancel myself? Why not put myself in a position <laughs> <laughs> to talk about some real things? But no, it was really, you know, it was, it was really good to have um, Wes on that and Kev. Yeah, we, we, you know, and Ralph, I would love to get you on there too because there are things as, um, I'm not afraid to say it. See, this is one of those shows I, I don't really care, especially because sometimes like a black perspective. Hey, guess what? I'm a black man. That's the perspective you're going to get. Oh, well, I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> And we're gonna exactly. talk about something, and it's gonna make you itch, which is yeah. a good segue to uh, playing dirty, because uh, <laughs> some of those characters, you might identify yourself in one or two of those characters. You and sure might. What once you, you sure realize might. you you do that, you you might itch. <laughs> <laughs> you might itch. Or get bit. the itch. Yeah, or or get the bit. itch. Just, a little just bit. Little, yeah, 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 a little bit. Just a little just, bit. Just a little so, bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, man. So that's so thanks for joining us, Seth, man. It's yeah, cool. Thanks for having you know, me. uh in in a little bit, we're gonna bring on, you know, uh some of the guests, uh, you know, cool. around nine thirty. Kiki's gonna jump on. Kiki be acting like she's so um uh, t- not tech savvy. She's like, Hey, you gotta give me she hit me up. I, I said the I said, here's your link to come on. Here's your right. link to promote if you want to. Right. And she's like, you ain't giving me too many instructions. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh Lord. <laughs> so yeah, so she'll I'm sure she'll she'll be on sooner than later. And um, yeah, man. So what else is going on in the world? So we we have the like I said, we just lost another hip hop pioneer with uh, you know. Long Island legend over there with De La Soul, uh, mm-hmm. True Goy the Dove. You know what I mean? It was. Um, it was only fifty four. Yeah, man, that's young. These mm. these these dudes are young. Yeah. Man. These dudes mm. are young, man. It's like, come on. But yeah, that's you know, big rest in peace to him, yo. Uh, mm-hmm. Did anyone see? Obviously, uh, congratulations to, to the Kansas City Chiefs. You know, he got another Super Bowl, and, and, and uh, Pat Mahomes got his uh, second Super Bowl championship and an MVP. Mm. Um, no, 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 no. That's not oh, what we're no. doing. I'm sorry. You're the director, but that's not what we're doing. Listen. Right. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, we, we try not to curse, but look, I, the NFL, y'all can go somewhere with your refs being in control of the game. All year long, catches to the helmet have been good with three football steps. All of a sudden, out the blue, the Super Bowl comes, uh, Mahone got a broken leg, ankle, whatever's wrong with that <laughs> jack leg. Yeah, anyway, thank God I'm happy two black people was in the Super Bowl. Doug Williams was in attendance, but you know what, NFL? I'm done. I'm canceling my NFL Red Zone membership, and I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Philly, you was wrong for burning down the city, too, but I, I feel your pain. Super. And I ain't trying but to hear none of that. Let me say, Philly, Philly are terrible. Fans. Philly Not is a terrible. Bit. I have to say this. Dallas, hey, 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 you cowboy fan. Don't you no, I, no, don't. No. I'm, I'm going to say this. Philly has Philadelphia as much as I, you know, I admire Jalen Hurts and stuff like that. Philadelphia has some of the worst sports fans. They are the yep. they're the worst sports. Like they're terrible winners and terrible losers. Yep. They are the worst sports. Some of them, you know, they're worst. I mean, along with um, you know, along with the Raider fans, they're just crazy. The Raider fans are just nuts. Oh yeah, they're, they're nuts. Yeah, they're just nuts. You might, you, you might, you might not make it out of there, really. Yeah. But, but yeah. honestly, but honestly, I'm not trying to hear that because listen, there are many plays in Dallas's history where catches have been taken back and and listen, where you clearly see that it was a catch where it's like no, 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 and it has changed the game. So I don't want to hear it. Listen, no, 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 Ralph. My, wait, wait, wait. My, 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 go ahead. Hold, hold, hold. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna say this no disrespect to the Philadelphia Eagles team. The team came to play, they mm-hmm. they played. You know, no, Jalen Hurts, well. Jalen Hurts was balling, he was yeah, balling, oh, no, yeah. no doubt about it. I mean, he played almost error free, you know, just that he, he should have got, he should have got MVP if we keep it in a buck. He, nah, he yeah. wasn't gonna get MVP because they lost. Because he lost, he's not gonna get MVP. Yeah, but but, but, that, but that, see, that's another rule that needs to change because the most valuable player is whoever the most valuable player is for the game. Yeah, but where's and, your value if you lose? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know I what? can see, I can see. You know, I, listen, I ain't talking to y'all <laughs> no more. That was that was some third grade <laughs> shit you just did. I'm just saying. <laughs> What the value if you lose? The value you, lose? <laughs> you the one aren't you the one who always push it? There is no there's no participation trophies. You yeah. either win or you lose. No, 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 no. Facts, facts, one hundred percent facts. But I'm still saying the NFL is they they give the referees got too much control over games. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, and every, uh, there's a lot of people that agree with me. No, I, no, I, I, I mean a lot of people. Either. A lot of people agree. This is what I think. I think my 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 only uh, observation on that was yes. Um, <sighs> I'm not gonna say it's a a super bad call, but it was a bad time to call that call. It was a very very slight hold. He did hold him, but it was very slightly, and it was a matter of let them play. Or or call the call. It's but, not but here's it, the thing. a bad call him, means he didn't hold them. But, but here's the thing. Hold. He 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 held it while he was in bounds. Once you get out of bounds, you are out of field of play. It shouldn't matter what the ball does once you're out of bounds because you're out of bounds. Yeah, but you got but Sorry, you gotta have, but you but you gotta have <laughs> the ball. But here, but here's my thing. Now, all you Philly fans saw you. It's amazing that all the Philly fans talk about this one play. Like this one play really changed the difference of the entire game. It shouldn't have no, been it, that position. It did. No, it, it did. shouldn't have been in that position. They made a shouldn't. couple of mistakes that they shouldn't have been in that position. Uh, there was a couple of there was there was a play where they caught the ball. The ball got caught out of bounds. Well, he ran out of bounds, and they they had time to do the replay or whatever. And they was they didn't they you know you're supposed to get up to the and snap that ball. But oh, guess yeah, what? Yeah. Guess what? Andy Reid is a great coach. He outcoached the other guy, and Andy Reid sent in substitutions at the last minute to slow them down so the refs could see. And then it goes on the replay. And they then the next thing you know, they didn't get a chance to snap the ball. That's some real uh, you know, good. He got out coached. That's that's what it is. Andy Reid's exactly. a great coach, very disciplined. They could have scored, and he took the knee. 
instead of scoring, he slid down. That's a that's coaching. That's coaching. Yeah. That's to make sure, you yeah, know, because the clock, run, get the clock most, running. Yeah, kept the clock running. Most people would have probably tried to be selfish and get them a touchdown in the Super Bowl and and jump and run into that end zone instead he slid down. But anywho, yo, what up? No nonsense. Appreciate you. Appreciate you coming through. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're gonna hang around for a few minutes. <laughs> and um Yeah, man. Ooh. So we got but that's that's what. But congratulations to the Chiefs, man. He did, you know, did a thing. Pat Mahomes Bravo. is a tough. He's a tough sob, man. Pat Mahomes is a tough dude, and he's uh. Hey, he's drunk. Great, they man. drugged him up. He was drugged yeah, up. Yeah, he should. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he he, 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 he still got to play on that. He went out there one thing, bad man. leg. And mm-hmm. listen, now, that, that do, scramble now, what, that he did for twenty six yards. I was like, wow, his leg is messed up, but he's running. He's running for it. Yeah, that's because they because they doped him up. But I will say this much: he he paid for it today. He he's oh, sitting yeah. in some ice or something today. I know that. I know that ankle do. is. You know, you know, they always doing it, and that ankle's been aggravated since the begin before the beginning of the playoffs. So mm-hmm. you know, he's been playing all that. The dude is the dude is the man. See, the bottom line is this: the Chiefs are becoming the new. Patriots. The reason why I say that is no, no, not, to hate, no. Listen, to me, no, listen to me. No, let me let me that. say my say because everybody's starting to hate them now. All of a sudden, you know what happens is let's let's keep it a buck, people, and people don't will never want to admit it, but this is this is the truth. It's a natural for whatever reason, it's natural instinct for people to hate greatness because I the same people that are yelling that. LeBron James is not better than Michael Jordan. The people are saying that Michael Jordan is better than this. Let me finish. He is. The same people that is hollering that was talking about they hated Jordan when Jordan was playing. They hated him. Because all, all these people, oh, Michael Jordan. They hated Michael Jordan. If you was not a Bulls fan, you did not like Michael Jordan. It was that plain and simple because he beat everybody. So you didn't like him. Let's be let's be honest. You didn't like Michael Jordan. You didn't root. You definitely didn't root for him if he wasn't on your team. So greatness is greatness. The same people that hate Tom Brady hated Joe Montana. They hated people. They hate people. Hate I greatness. hate Joe Montana, <laughs> and, and I love the 49ers, but fuck Joe Montana. That's what I'm saying. Hey, so hey, look, look, look. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I, I gotta listen. I don't like. I like. I don't like them. I don't like the catch against the Cowboys. I hate that, mm-hmm. but catch, as far yeah. as Joe Montana the player, I ain't got no problem with Joe Montana the player. I don't have no problems for now. I mean, because no one had a problem nice. with him now, but when they even were back playing, then, even back then, no, I but back I in the day, know. nobody, nobody liked Joe Montana back in the day. When you, nobody when you're great, them. man, when when greatness happens, people hate great. Equals hate. <laughs> so yes, you got people that's like, oh, these people were great and they loved them for whatever. But you know, when when someone's great, you're gonna hate on them anyway. So now that Patrick Mahomes is is climbing that level of greatness, so now everybody always like, why you hate Patrick Mahomes? This guy, what's wrong with this? Is it, what's wrong with you? Why you hate Patrick Mahomes? You, you know, you know I, 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 I I I can tell you why people dislike Patrick Mahomes, and uh, and this this great. might be. Well, well, no, not just because he's great, but I think people just like I honestly don't have nothing against him. I, I just I want I just really I just really wanted the Eagles to win. Um, but uh, I think people's problem with him a little bit, and, and God forgive me for saying this, it's the team like him. He 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 looked too much like Colin Kaepernick. He too light. Mm. Well, if he if, so. if he was if he was the same complexion as Jalen. And it probably it ain't nobody probably wouldn't think twice of him, but I, I'm I'm telling you, it, it's it's Colin Kaepernick didn't come back in the game. You got him doing the thing. It's like you know, it's bound to be some people out there that's gonna be like, you know, where he is, that's where Colin Kaepernick should be, and hmm. and, and that's just my hmm. opinion. Well, that's I just mean, my opinion. You know, I don't. If, that's if not that's what. That's case. not what I believe. That's not what I believe personally. Right. But right, right, I right, just right. think that that's what people are. Um, I think that's probably what some people's problem with him is. Like even at the office, 
people was coming like, oh, he's whining about his foot. He's whining about his ankle. I'm like, the dude was hurt. Meanwhile, y'all, meanwhile, those same people stub a toe and, and call out. <laughs> From work, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, listen, me. Listen, I'm. I'm. I, listen, I'm, I'm. I'm one of them. I was even. I was yeah. even pointing. I was even pointing at my clients that they like. You know what? Some of the stuff you're saying is true, but yeah, I, I, I was only mad because the Eagles lost. These guys are tough for the tough man player. So shifting gears real quick, since I only bought up the Super Bowl in the first place to talk about quickly about the commercial commercials, but the. The actual the uh, trailers. The Tubi commercial was dope. That was one of the dopest commercials during the Super Bowl yo. because it had everybody looking at. Yo, I was looking on. I was like this. I was looking on the couch to see if I sat on the remote. Yo, yo, <laughs> I didn't see every, it. yo, I didn't everybody see it. at the office was saying that they was like, we yo. got to check the TV. Yo, <laughs> the 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 Tubi commercial. <laughs> it's like it was a commercial playing, and then it just like. Blacked out where it's like it, it you go down and you search it through Tubi, you hit the app and then it turns on and then it was like, yo, what's going on? Like <laughs> it, was, it was in the middle of the commercial. I was like, brilliant, brilliant. I didn't see it. It was brilliant. It. it was brilliant. I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah, Look, and I was like, I was at I was at a party yesterday and mm -hmm. there was a lot of stuff going on. And what cracked me up is that well, not cracked me up, what got me is that the guy was streaming the football game mm -hmm. off of his Roku onto a projector, but the projector couldn't put out the sound because it didn't have Bluetooth and they would have plug it into a speaker. So the first half of the game, I didn't hear any of the game. You know, I saw it, but I didn't hear it. So like commercials just went over my head. It wasn't that time because everybody had to stop to see Rihanna. Then they figured out how to get the volume up. Now they didn't turn the lights on. Now people could see it. Like, okay, this is what we got to do. Yeah, yeah. So half of the game, I, did, I saw it, but didn't even hear it. So I didn't see the Tubi commercial. I missed a lot. It seemed like I missed a lot of stuff. When you that, get a chance, first. when yeah, when you get a chance, uh, look that up. It was really, it's really cool. Um, the so they showed the Flash trailer. Hey, uh, they showed a little bit of it, and then it went. Then you had to go online to kind of watch the full Flash trailer, and um, yeah. Trailer hated was it. dope. Hated it. Hated it. Yeah, Ralph. I'm just uh, trolling. Yeah, just you trolling. must be trolling because trolling. let me it's, tell you. No, something. you know what? No, what? Wait, wait. I take that back. I did hit. I hit it. I hit it for one. I hit it for one really good reason. Right. What? Now I have been very adamant about that whole thing with that that session where it's the highest rated movie in in DC cinematic history. And then I and then the thing as I said they should I said I'm gonna keep saying I said I think they should have chuck chuck and they didn't. But now that I saw the trailer, I see why they couldn't chuck it. Right. It's chuck very what? like like what they did with Batgirl, they should have just canceled it because it's not going on Ezra Miller. But now I see why they did they couldn't do it. It's it's too ambitious, way too mm -hmm. ambitious, and it's going to not only in this supposedly in the Snyder universe, but also begin whatever James Gunn is going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm just... My, my first fear when I saw it, because I looked at it last night, I was like, I hope this ain't fan service. I hope it ain't fan service. Because I'll be admit, it looks good. It looks good. I'll be willing to see it. I, I, I was bummed that when Michael Keaton said, I'm Batman, I was like, oh my God. And then he comes in, they play in the, they play uh, uh, yeah, with um, score. Yeah, I was like, Elfman. oh. I got chills. Danny I was like, Elfman oh. Oh. Yeah, they, they, yeah, I knew they were gonna mm -hmm. hit. You gotta hit them with that. But the, the bottom, it. the bottom line is the this film. Yeah, it wasn't originally set to reset the Snyderverse, but obviously they, 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 they re-edited it. I think they did some reshoots and things like that, and mm -hmm. it, it kind of reset the. Um, Can we call it, it what it is? They did the BS. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they reset the Snyderverse, so I guess we'll have to see the movie. But the movie, the the, the trailer was dope, man. It was really it was good. They, they're good. definitely doing the Flashpoint uh, storyline with a little twist, uh, mm -hmm. as you can see. You saw um, Supergirl, Supergirl. Well, you know what Superman. I mean? So instead of Superman, they got Supergirl because in the and Flashpoint, we still and we yeah. still don't know where, where Superman is. We don't. We know. don't know where Superman is. There. I'm sure they'll explain it somewhere. But like I said, because it's Flashpoint, he may never have made it to Earth. 
Yeah, Superman that, might not have been this, in this reality. He may not even ever right. made it to Earth. You know, right. so it might have been Kara instead of him. Like they, you know, the, the story is Kara was sent to to watch over him, but originally Kara's pod got knocked off course. So she gets to Earth after him because she's really older than him. But by the time she gets to Earth, he's a grown man. man. So mm -hmm. that's how the the story is, you right. know, from the comics and stuff. But um. In this case, it might be. Remember, Flashpoint. Whenever he changes something, I mean, one little thing he changes just destroys the whole timeline <laughs> and the whole mm. reality. So, it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. And and, and I, like I said, Ralph, they mm. didn't say. They just said it's it's not the highest rated. It just tested. Yeah, that, uh, that's second all highest. Is that. Highest rated second, only second to the um the 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 Christopher Nolan film. That was it. At the, at the thing, that was the only thing it was it was second to, so it just it tested well, and it looks and I, like it's gonna be good. Yeah, and I I, I knew you were trolling Ralph because if Grace Grace came back and made a whole new video, I know I saw that. Great, <laughs> she, she came back her. with a whole new video. Wes told me she said one thing, and I went yeah. on this morning looking for other stuff, and I saw her thing, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's what she said yesterday. Yeah, you hear what she's talking what about. She and boy, yeah. they somebody must have somebody from one of her pages, including yeah. Wes, must yeah. have dug in her butt because yeah. she was like, "Oh, well, you know, it's 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 good." I left and... a lot of nasty comments. We'll get back to that on the other side <laughs> oh of the interview. God. I got my people in the green room. But you so know I something get that that ain't the movie, movie I want to see. No, no movie I wanted mm -hmm. to show yesterday. Mm -hmm. I want to see the movie about Nike. I mm -hmm. saw it. I was like, "Yo, that looks really that looks decent." It looked the one it, about, just, the about, one about it, Nike. They they trying to get to Jordan or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I was they like, trying to sign hey. Jordan. Let me tell yeah. you something. Yeah, that's all good. I ain't too interested. In, Michael Jordan ain't did nothing but rip but black look, people off all his life. But I'm like, looking at. But I was looking that. at the. <laughs> but I was looking at the cast. Yeah. It's the cast that's got me like that's what, oh, well, that, that was Ben Affleck directed that, right? Is that the one yeah. that Ben Affleck directed? Yeah. He probably him and him and Matt Damon, Matt Damon probably Damon, worked the game. Viola Davis. Davis. Yes, it's I'm a like, dope okay. cast. So for the cast alone, I'll watch it. So yeah. anyway, let's get uh back on the other side and get our guest in here. I just played this at the top of the show, but I'm gonna play it again. Congratulations, counselor. Yet another win. You're the famous Yoshi Lomax. I don't know what it is you did, but I can promise you, he is going down. Well, where have I heard that before? I'm just a bad woman. Do whatever I want. I don't need no help. Miss Lomax is now considered a fugitive of the United States. Catching fugitives is my business, which makes her my suspect. Here's a letter from the mayor on Louis Santana's behalf. There's cash in there as well. Mr. Santana is to be released upon processing. You know, I can be disbarred for life and in prison for this. Would it be easy to get rid of? It's as good as gone. So let's toast to success. Yeah, that's a bad woman there, Yoshi Lomax. But from the mind of Kiki Swenson, Yoshi Lomax is born, right? And this is what we're here for. The creator of the character, Yoshi Lomax, is with us, along with the gentleman who played, you saw in that trailer with her, plays the judge, Judge Allen. So let's bring in Kiki Swenson and welcome her to the show. Kiki, what's good? What's up? What's up? What's hey, going Kiki. on, man? Hello. <laughs> it's oh, like no, a I my, Where my five dollars? <laughs> oh, no, you didn't say where your five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you did not say where your damn five dollars are. <laughs> there you go. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> and since 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 it's a it's a whole family reunion here, let's bring in Judge Allen himself. My man Ron Rogel, what here up, Ron? Here come the judge. Here come the What's judge. up, guys? Here come the judge. 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 Here come the judge
<laughs> Yo, welcome, 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 welcome. And this is like, like I said, it's almost like a reunion. Uh, playing dirty. You know, we spent quite a bit of time working on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was uh, it was a, a really good experience. I mean, I've al- I already knew Ron, of course. I didn't just meet Ron on Playing Dirty, but um, it was just a great experience working with everyone. But Kiki, I really want to know um, when we when we sat out and and I'm we got to kind of give them we can give them the Cliff Notes version, but we gotta we got to kind of give them the whole story. You know what I mean? Of Playing Dirty, because this is so such a long time coming. We have to give the entire story. We could c- clip it short, but we got to give the whole story <laughs> of how this even, where it is now. It's now available on Tubi. Everyone go out and watch it. After you watch the show, go out and watch t- <laughs> Play It Dirty on Tubi. It's free. You know what I mean? And uh, But originally, and, and everybody, you got some fans in the chat room, Kiki. No nonsense says welcome Ron. And she also said she was a Kiki fan. Hey, yeah, girl. right there. She says here, yeah, hey Kiki, I'm a big fan of your books. There you Thank go. Thank you so much. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up, man. So she probably read this book before the you know the, the project ever came out. So, real quick, uh, I was contacted by a mutual friend. At the time, they were working with Drew Sidora, the actress, mm-hmm. and um, they and, and everyone. Drew Sidora, she's you know she's an actress, and uh, you know she's been on some joints, and, and they out of kind of nowhere was like, "Hey, I hear that you are a filmmaker. Why don't you work with Kiki Swisson? She wrote, she writes books." And I'm like, the name was ringing a bell because I've seen your books all over the place, especially back in the day. They used to be at the, uh, you know, at the bus, you know, the bus stations and the in the check cashing places, the Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! Don't be acting yeah. like my stuff is now. Hold up! Don't do that. Nah, that's yo. No, that's usually the, the the dudes who sell the Muslim oils. They go and get books and mm-hmm. resell, be reselling them. Yeah, that's that's money you need to collect. You didn't collect that money, Kiki. <laughs> Wait, you hold on, Kiki. Kiki, you wasn't out there on the bootleggers next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were. The, so I remember the name was definitely ring a bell. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I reached out to her. But see, the thing was, I thought when I was given that that uh, invitation, I thought it was like from Kiki, but it wasn't. Right. You know, <laughs> so I kind of looked. I looked a little crazy reaching out no, to no, her no, out you of thought nowhere. It was from Drew Sedora. Oh no, no, I thought it was because it was a Drew Sedora account, but it was someone who kind of worked with Drew Sedora, like mm-hmm. assisted them or managed her or something mm-hmm. like that. So her. that's what it was. So. Um, but then I was like, I thought that, but the fact that they said you should call her or you should contact her, I'm thinking, okay, she wants to hear from me, but I don't think she knew I was going to contact her. No. I so I kind of looked like came out of nowhere, like, Hey, let's do your book. So, um, that's that fast forward. You know, I kept kind of just trying and then what what was it from your end kiki what do you know i contacted you and what happened? man listen you worried me to death like you would <laughs> yo this dude wouldn't give up he wouldn't give up he um back then this was like 2009 2010 yeah and, um he was like hey i want to work with you and let's do something and i'm like brushing him off okay you know, because back then I was trying to get this deal with Kenya Barris, mm-hmm. and that deal fell through. Mm-hmm. And then so I was kind of like, um, you know, like bummed out. And I'm like, yeah. nah, I don't want to deal with this right now. So <laughs> a year passed. Like when I tell you this, you were like all dead on it. Every other month he'll call me, hey, how you doing? You know, and then like the next year rolled around, hey, you know. I'm just poking my head back in. And then he took it upon himself like maybe <laughs> two years later and did like a, a little snippet, a little trailer of Playing Dirty mm-hmm. and yeah. sent it to me. 
Yeah, I actually did and that I with. Like, I actually okay. did that with seven. Seven, seven shot that with me. He shot it for, for me. Real seven, yeah, you yeah. That. Seven shot that. Yeah, okay. I, I, I grabbed him up. I said, "Yo, let's do this." Shout out to Josie. Uh, uh, Josie, we we you know we just grabbed her up to to just so we had somebody to do the little snippet. It was just like a, a you know. I don't know, like a proof of concept or something. I don't know. We just did it kind of real, you know, quick. And just to show her, hey, this is an idea here. And we really just kind of took excerpts from the book, Mm -hmm. let her kind of read voice over the excerpt from the book. And then we shot some images that would match with it as if Yoshi Lomax was on the run. Yeah. yeah. And guerrilla filmmaking, because we definitely were shooting some spots that we shouldn't have been shooting. (laughs) We're shooting this hot <laughs> What at the gas station? Yeah, yep. I wasn't Yo, we gonna say living... nothing, Kiki. Yeah, we was at that <laughs> gas station about, somewhere Kiki. on Long Island, and we were like, "Okay, I'm like this." Yo, where, where, where was was y'all on the North Shore? What we was gas on the North station Shore. was that? I ain't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not saying, but so we want to know. That looked like the middle of nowhere. I'm like, that's got to be the North Shore or the out east. We want to be out there. the North Shore. Yep. <laughs> we yeah, North so, Shore. So. So, so when he sent it to me, I was intrigued. I'm like, okay, if he took it upon himself to do that and this looks good, okay, <laughs> all right, maybe we can work, you know? And it took like maybe a couple of more years after that, like maybe a year and a half after that. Or maybe two years after that, and then mm-hmm. um, it happened. It happened. Yeah, yeah. It just really, yeah. After after we kind of caught her attention with that, then you know uh, what I did was, you know, I, I reached out to um, you know Devon Devon Trouble, who is our you know DP, and I was like, hey, we had never worked together before. I knew him from other things that we worked on, and I was like, hey, man, so boom, boom, boom. Fast forward when she finally said, "Yeah, let's do it," you know, I was like, "All right, cool, we gonna do it." And the funniest thing is, <laughs> the first thing she said to me, she gave me a certain number, and said, a "Budget." <laughs> she gave me a budget and said, "I can't go over this number." I said, "Okay." So I immediately sent her a budget that was like double that number. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and, and like, this is what I said. I said, "Nigga." <laughs> <laughs> didn't, I say, like, didn't I say I can't go over this number? You better cr- you better do some yeah. crafting. Yo, that was the yo, that was the exact words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was <Nigger>. like, <laughs> yeah. I can't go over this. I was like, well, okay, you know. But well, we made it work. So yeah, we did. That's, and, and you know, so when we 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 took the you know the the book and I read the book, loved it. We decided we was going to, you know, go like series with it because it's such a vast, a lot of stuff going on in the book. Yeah. And we're like, okay, let's do that. Then we went into the casting process. That was fun. Uh, everything was just so we, we spent a lot of time on this on this project from day yeah. one. Mm-hmm. So then you got people. I reach out to Kev. These are my go-tos, right? I reach out to Kev to work on Quantor. it. I, I, I reach out to uh to seven. Yeah, you reach out to Kev and we do a long road trip down to where was you at, Kiki? <laughs> Virginia. We, Virginia. Yeah. We I'm had the Virginia. we had to roll over that that freaking crazy bridge that goes yeah, underwater. Yeah, I'm so it was no, it's all good. Oh, we the had that crazy the Chesapeake yeah, the Bay. Ch- yeah. Oh. Chesapeake yeah. Bay Bridge, that bridge, yeah. and it was and it was storm and it was storming that night or something. It was we were going down can, there. You can feel the bridge moving. It was so much. Oh, he was like, yeah, Yo, it's this scary. Is crazy. It's pretty scary. So then, once we did all that, we got everything together. When we finally cast, you know, uh, like I said, Ron is someone who I've worked with in the past. We ca- we end up casting him as uh, Judge Allen. I'm like, so Ron, um. You want to put your you want to put your face between somebody's legs? <laughs> and my response was, "Yeah, no, of course I do." <laughs> He's like, "Whose legs?" No, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Before I answer what, that, what kind of casting is this? <laughs> right, exactly. Like Ron, let me see the top of your head. Okay, you're good. You, you're, you're <laughs> right, right. Nah, but Ron, man, wow. so 
what real quick, man, um, just the experience that you had on on the you know not just that day the other days when you, you know had to read lines and stuff no <laughs> <laughs> no nah, nah, but we, that was a good day we we shot at we rented out the courtroom right we went there we had the nice courtroom set that up and that was it nice. was a real cool so what how was your experience on that man no I mean, it was it was great i mean i just remember it's funny that you bring up the you know the head between the legs i remember we had to do that so fast cuz we were running out of time <laughs> for use and the room was about the size of a bathroom in Manhattan. It was tiny, and we're all like jammed in there trying to shoot this scene. Uh, that was hysterical. Yeah, I, I, you know, you know what's really funny about that scene? I wasn't in the room, but I was in the hallway within that in that corridor with her boyfriend, pacing yes. back and forth. Like, what's going on in there? I'm like, man, if this dude rings up, it's gonna be a problem. He's gonna get whooped out in here. I'm telling you. You better oh, keep it together. Yeah. Right. Well, I remember yeah. that because I mean, actually, I think I said to I think I said to West before we shot him, like he cannot be on set. There's no way he can be on set when he shoots. <laughs> oh, definitely wasn't. That wasn't gonna happen. We were, you know, I, I, that whole thing was hilarious. Yeah, I, I don't know why that dude was. There. We was like, listen, dude, and I, you know, and I know. See, this is why I have Kev. This is why I have Seven on set because they're they're my bodyguards. They're the ones that. <laughs> They don't. They don't care being the bad guy. <laughs> you know? So they're like, no. Fuck. you know, it's no. like they have no problem telling you no, and they don't have no problem being the bad guy. So those are, you know, everybody. You gotta have my those. If if I'm the running back, those are my blockers. You know? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So that's um. But, but I didn't know that. Good... Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, no, I was gonna say I didn't know Seven was gonna be on the show. This is like a. Awesome surprise that he's on. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same here. Yeah, because he usually does a show. I would have had seven on here so long ago, but he does a show the same night. The same night. Well, you know, he and I are working on a project together then. Yeah, exactly. That's... I know. Oh, I, I, I... speaking of which, Ron, you got to let me know when you're going to come through. You need to see. You need to. Oh, we go get down there. Yeah, I got to get down to to the city to see yeah. to see the scenes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so far everything I've seen looks amazing. Oh uh, man, you. yeah, it's, it's it's good. I, I I got a chance to see some sneak cool. peeks, and then and then you know we 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 bounce things off each other, and you guys are doing your thing over there. Oh, we have yeah. another we have another uh family member, uh who's about to join us. He is uh plays the vicious. Sheldon Chisholm, and 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 anyone who in the chat room, you all know the book, you all know who Sheldon is. So we bringing him in right now. My, my man Wilner is in the building. Wilner, what's up? Hey, yeah, what's hey, good. Well, well hey, how y'all doing? What's going what's on, up, bro? Man? Yo, what's hey. good? Bro? What? What's going Welcome. On? Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Yeah, Thank no you problem. For having me. No problem, man. We just we just in the middle of we was just breaking down the beginning of the story, how it's all we're getting, you know, we're jumping a little bit, time jumping a little bit, but we're getting to where we're getting. So we get to shooting time. You know, we we cast one. Oh, I want I got it since Wilner's on. Okay. So Wilner, now we had somebody else that was in mind. And me and Kiki go, I always say this one, because she had this dude in mind that we saw. And I and she liked him, and I liked him, but I was like, he's not Haitian. And he was like, and she was like, yeah, but he can act. And I'm like, yeah, he can act. I was like, but he's not Haitian. <laughs> and she's like, and she's like, all right. So you know, me and Kiki had this thing, and she told this on an interview once before, and I laugh when I watch it. We have this thing where we go back and forth, and Kiki will put her foot down and be like, no, this is what it is. And I'm like, okay. And then I'll wait. <laughs> and I'll you'll wait. wait. <laughs> you'll let me calm down. And then he'll come back later and say, well, Kiki, <laughs> I think that, that, that I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, and then, then we, then I, I kind of like, and I don't know, you might be hearing this for the first time, Kiki. I went, I, I, I went behind your back. And, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, I, and I said, I said, Bev, I sent Bev on a mission. I said, Bev, find me a Haitian actor 
That's what <laughs> so Bev said she obliged and said, okay, fine. So she went and she found Wilner. So then she she tells me about Wilner. I look at him. I said, okay, well, I'm going to send Kiki some of his headshots and stuff like that so she can see him. I said, because, you know, Sheldon is a character that really has to fit even a look. We don't normally cast by just by looks, but Sheldon had to fit a certain intimidation, you know, like right. a look. So we was like, okay, let's let's do this. And we knew that he was going to be this intimidating character that didn't really you didn't see him much, he didn't speak much. We didn't even shoot him dead on from the from the front. We shot him with the side cuz we wanted to profile, cuz we just didn't we you know, wanted to keep that mystique, right? Mm -hmm. So I sent her the headshot. She loved them. And then I, I know he had sent me like a self tape. And then we showed him that. And then, you know, so we, the rest is history. You know what I mean? We got it there. Yes, sir. Other, other dude is out. Will this? I'm in. Great. <laughs> so, everything you know, happens for a reason. I'm great. It all happens for a reason, man. And I know, yes, Will, sir. you, 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 you know, we, we were working on that and we shot that night. Because when we when we got to shooting time, I think we shot originally what five days, four days, something like that. The original, the original first time we shot, I think it was four or five days. I that think we it was shot. five days. Yeah, and that you know we did that in New York, right? We did that in New York, and we crunched and we a lot of days, right? Mm -hmm. Crunched a lot of days into you know a lot of stuff into the five days. And then, uh, yeah, so we shot, boom, boom, yeah, we shot in five days. So that was cool. We get Wilner. We shot that in um, Long Island. You know, um, at uh, Corey, shout out to Corey. That was at Corey's house, Corey Disky, who's a a, mm -hmm. um, a, a a excellent production designer. Yes, she is. Yeah. And um, and we shot that scene <laughs> into the night. We might we didn't start till like ten yep, at night. Like, 20, like we was up like twenty hours. Like we had like four hours worth of sleep. Yeah, it was it was something else, man. And, wait, and, and one thing I have to give props to because I don't really get you don't get a chance to do that, but situations like this, Kev, your sense of humor and your focus made it so pleasurable, and keep <laughs> oh, too you, because. Man. I know, Kiki, you have your moments. You say you have your moments, and you do have your moments, but Kiki was always yeah. able to laugh and joke. Yeah, in between and keep it light. Keep it light <clears throat> because there were, there were definitely some actor moments. Um, there mm -hmm. were some lighting camera moments that uh, kind yeah. of delayed things um, yeah. because that's, that's what happens when you create a production. <laughs> you plan, <laughs> and then Challenges. you see what happens. Right. Always and, challenges. Um, I, I, that was that between, and then when Kev was in the room with Kiki, the jokes were amazing. <laughs> I, you I know, have it that, was I have that ability. I'm yeah, always, she does. Always, uh, said joking. Yeah, Kiki yeah. knows how to. She knows how to keep it light. She knows how to keep it light. And sometimes, not only that, I don't know if you were a com a, a, a comedian in your past life or something because you, your timing is always good. You always had yeah, yeah. your Real timing is timing. impeccable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Instead of an awkward moment, she would say something mm. and everybody yes. would laugh. You know what I mean? And you know what? That feels good coming from because let's be honest, she, you know, at, she she she's right here with us, down to earth with us, mm. but she's the boss in this aspect. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. usually when the boss is on set, everybody's tense and nervous. You know what I mean? But she's not mm. like that. She doesn't give you that tense and nervous mm. feeling because she's going to always... Sometimes I do, you know. though. Sometimes. sometimes you do. Sometimes yeah. you do. But I mean, <laughs> that's that's expected. You know, this is this is yeah. a, it's your production. It's your baby. It's your brainchild. It's your money. Like, everything is 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 mm -hmm. on the line here so mm -hmm. that is expected more than the jokes right, <laughs> you know yeah, right. So we, were at, we, we were at a place we were at a place and kiki was checking out some makeup or something and that lady said something <laughs> and i looked at her and i looked at kiki, and kiki was like shut up don't say nothing and i was <laughs> like i i ain't, i was quiet the whole rest mm -hmm. of the time like you know what? I'm just a driver. I ain't saying nothing else. <laughs> yeah. But the reason why yeah. this is so, why it was so important too, is because especially even 
just um, you know, it's like having a team and everybody plays their position. You right. know, exactly. Wes, Wes, Wes had to really, and, and that's for anyone that's on set, the director needs to mentally be in a bubble. So <laughs> when there, when there's issues, you know, from the producing aspect, Kevin, myself, we come in and we're, we're putting out fires. We're trying to make sure <laughs> things stay on time. We're I trying to keep, keep things away from Wes so he can direct <laughs> and do just making sure people just making sure people ain't hungry was a chore oh, enough that's sure. a chore that's a chore then, itself yeah and then Ron and Wilner like i mean you guys are, well Ron you know i we always try i always try to find a way to work with you but you know <laughs> yourself and Wilner and and some of the other actors north i said some some of the other actors yeah. were such a pleasure <laughs> to work with oh absolutely thank you was like, no problem like you know what I mean? You, yeah. you stayed focused. No, no. You did what you, you needed stayed to focused. do. You, you came know, in. but but they weren't yeah. but they weren't deep of focus too. You know, you have the extreme where, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know they're like a, right. And you, you know, can and you can cool. always and you 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 can always because this was my first time working with Wilma, and that was yeah, dope. Right I mean, especially yeah. being able to have to do that. And, and like like Kiki said, it was like a twenty-two hour day. Like we went like mm -hmm. it's a good thing we weren't union. Because we would have got violated. Because <laughs> we, because we, we, we got all we types totally, of yeah, meal, break, meal break violations. We yeah. would have got all kinds of violations. <laughs> but yeah. Ron, but working with Ron, I've been working with Ron since how since my since my career in film started. It started with Ron. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. And yeah, that's funny because that when you say meal, what was it called? A meal violation. Meal break. Yeah. <laughs> meal break <laughs> violation. Yo, <laughs> funny because you speak of Ron. That's a good segue because our first film that we worked on, we yeah. had a uh, we had a um a DP, Chung Pai. He was our DP and he was union, but he was doing a non union film. And he used to always with Sher shout out to Sherman Sawyer. Sherman Sawyer. If Sherman Sawyer was was he would go and get the food. <laughs> If he was two minutes late with the food, he talked about some. It gonna be a meal penalty. I was like, bro, <laughs> this is not the union, my dude. <laughs> no way. <laughs> He's like, it was meal penalties. So, you know, he knew your pain, Kiki. You know, how you be running around <laughs> getting the uh, food, and so you yeah. know, we gotta wear dumb hats. I want to show some real quick. Um, give everybody a sneak peek. Y'all go and watch this on Tubi. It's free, man. Please. I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek since we got Ron here. Let's let's show Ron real quick. All right, as so Judge Allen. Oh here. wow, yeah, I remember this. Luis Santana. Specifically, the parties have made a joint motion for reconsideration of the detention order I made last February, February 14th. To be exact. As I stated back then on record, the parties were of course free to make a revised. Yeah. Here's a letter. Yeah, there's cash in there as well. Cash? Okay. Oh, yeah. Good page of the room, I got this. No, but I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to keep tonight. Just take the cash. <laughs> Great. That was good, man. So that was Ron Rogel. I got to get my applause back, man. My, uh, I ain't got my studio up and running yet. I just moved, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> my listen, I got the Ron, bootleg applause now. Listen, Ron, Ron executed that like I, when we were doing that scene. I'm looking at Ron and I'm like, Ron has spent some time before the judge. <laughs> even the way he, even the way he was leaning in, looking at the looking at the docket before him, he was like, yeah, um, yeah, that, mm -hmm. that's, that was perfect because I I remember that scene directly because I remember we had we did have the script there because we were making mm -hmm. so many changes that day on the script. <laughs> So he's like, Ron, you keep the script right behind because <laughs> the judges don't sit there and just do from memory. They read right. off no, yep. they read off of yep. papers right. and stuff like that. They don't just uh, you see the judges all the time reading straight from a paper because you know they're not they don't remember all that stuff by memory. Right. So they're re they're reading it all off. Boom, 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 boom. This, that, and the other docket number. This, that, that. so. It just was natural and it worked fine, you know. And I mean, he he didn't refer to the script much, but we had it there because we kept changing stuff. We was like <laughs> trying to try to, you know, for time, you know. So. Uh, well, my my inspiration was Judge Judy, so. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, Ron, I said I said to you, I said, Ron, where the hell were you when I was getting sentenced to that feds? 
I remember that. I remember that like it was yesterday. (laughs) Man. man. So so when we did that scene, uh, we shot that the same day as we shot the the between the legs scene. That was all at the (laughs) and like like Rod said, that that room was uh so small. (laughs) We had to fit Everybody They're trying to jam there. all of that, trying to jam all of that equipment in that one room. Equipment, yep. the sound, lighting, camera, the people, <laughs> and, then, and then of course we're like, all right, everybody get out. So, this, <laughs> so, <laughs> so Kiki, um, you know, when you were on set, this was your first experience. Yes. Uh, you know, on set, you're 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 very experienced now, but this was your first time, and um. How was how what was going through your mind as you were seeing something that you created be recreated? Wow, like, like, look at the look at the the sets that we had. Like, we had an actual courtroom, you know, mm-hmm. um, yeah. like, and and the fact that like Ron knocked it out of the park, like he was an actual judge, <laughs> you know, and and you know it. it was like somewhat over overwhelmed but I was just like relishing in the moment at the same time because yeah. I'm like wow like this is it's, it's happening you know and then yeah. he had, and then you had so many people on the small budget that I had rally around and come in and help like we had a full team of people like yeah. seven and seven and 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 the set designer, like, oh my God, mm-hmm. like you you pulled in a whole bunch of people, you know. So yeah. I'm like, damn, like I was I was <laughs> I felt blessed. I, and that was the um that was the not the deal breaker, but that's when I was saying to him, uh or said to you, I was like, we should shoot it in New York, because that's where my resources are. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, we should shoot in New York. Because you know we, we that's where our resources are, and then uh, yeah, so it was it was really really cool to be able to do that. I'm not gonna you lie, know? I I love I love watching her face, particularly when we were at Corey's house, and she was just like in between the, and I could tell sometimes she was getting a little bit annoyed, like why is that taking so long? Yeah, but then she, <laughs> but at the same time, she was seeing the process, mm-hmm. and it was like okay, okay, I see what's going on here. Yeah, right. Kevin, I was Kevin. I really was. I mean, there, there, there was there was some like towards the middle of the day. She she was tight. I'm looking at her. I'm like I'm like yo. Yeah, it was it was all uh, yeah. We had our you know sometimes I try to prep her beforehand. Be like yeah, just you know you run it every production. You run in the challenges and it takes long. But see when the the best thing about what I loved about seeing her just being her first time. We were able to show her what it looked like through the mm-hmm. viewfinder. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So once yeah. it was lit, all that time that she's like, "Hey, it's taking a long time," and you know, everyone's everyone gets a little annoyed by that. I know actors, y'all do it all the time. Y'all mm-hmm. sit on set until <laughs> the set is lit. But when you see the set is is what you know, and the in the business is called a hot set, right? So once the set is lit, it's hot. And you and, and they get up the video village. They put up the you know the the thing so we can see it. Now Kiki gets to look at the monitor and be like, "Wow!" Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and it just becomes this new thing, man. No nonsense. Says uh, she's fanning out uh, over here. She said, "I'm trying <laughs> to act like I've been here before, but I'm such a fan of Kiki. I'm so blessed to be in here." Yeah, <laughs> I know. I saw Aww. that. Thank you, no that's, nonsense. That's what's up, man. Yeah, 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 man. And um, she always hold us down too on our show, which is really dope. Um, but yeah, so I was really good to be able to present that to you, and then I realized that. Then there was times where Kiki would kind of leave set, go do whatever it is she had to do, and that made me feel like she she trusted That's me. It. She finally trusted me. She was like, mm-hmm. you know, she was able to sit there and watch what we're doing. And then after a few days or whatever, whatever couple of days, uh, you know, she was like, okay, I'm gonna go do whatever it is she had to do. And I'm like, all right, now you know she trusts me now. <laughs> Let's let's go ahead. It's it's it, it means a lot to be able to have somebody who's you know 
you know, you've been doing it for a while and you're very successful doing it. So, I mean, I can, I could have, uh, I would have understood if you would have been over my shoulder the whole time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I would have understood that. And I was prepared for that. And the fact that you wasn't, I think was like, wow, okay, that made me feel even better, you know? And then I got my people around me. You know, I worked with Ron before. I know how Ron acts. I know how to direct him. I know what he's, I know he's capable of anything as an actor. And I was like, he could definitely handle this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that was, that was easy. I'm working with my people, you know, Kev and Seven, they my family, you know what I'm saying? Basically. So it's, it was like, now you have to say it became we became a little family out there. And it's, it was like yeah. it's nothing like making films with your friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you know, like, 100%. So I had, I, yeah, I yeah. had. You know, I, we've been doing this. You know, you've been doing that since you was younger. If you ever got into film, you make it films with your friends, whether it's on a eight a eight millimeter or you know whatever camera. And everything or, or and, it, and it's gorilla. It's I don't want to say it's gorilla, but it's always time crunch. It's mm-hmm. always, it's always, we always, under, I think the only time we wasn't under the clock was when we did trade-off. That's when we were yeah. the most comfortable and just relaxed. Mm-hmm. But right. this yeah. thing, like, like, Kiki, you came in, you came in on a production that a, a lot of people don't get to come in on. Because usually when it's gun and go, it's like gun and go. We ain't got time to explain nothing to you. Look, it's, right. we gotta, right. we gotta yeah. rock. We gotta rock. Yeah. And you right. just fit right in. You just, yeah. he was she's like, okay, right I see in. what's. She was really willing to learn that 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 made me understand that she was she wanted to yeah, make I films long term. Sitting back and watching yeah. everything. Yeah, that's how I know she wanted to make films long term because she was she was learning. She wasn't just <laughs> blowing it off or whatever or just like whatever. She was she you know we'd say something to her and she pay attention. You know what I mean? Well, we doing that. So that's what's up, man. Um, Wilner is he still there? Wilner still there? Let's see. I think yes, I, I am. Man. Okay, cool, 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 <laughs> man. Yeah, so we we bring you in. <laughs> uh, how how did you? How was your experience? I asked Ron this question. How was your experience just working on the project itself? Yeah, um, as far as for me, uh, it was a learning experience because uh, prior uh, to uh, that, I had uh, no speaking experience. I've, I've done backgrounds, and I was always mm-hmm. told. I had potentials, but I never, you know, had any uh, um, experience with speaking roles. So uh, when I remember when Bev sent me a message on Facebook and I was like, who is this weird girl? Like, this has to be a scam. <laughs> so, yeah, I forgot Bev didn't know you know you. She right. just kind of knew yeah. of you. Yeah, she knew of you because of... You know, Wilner is a you know a pretty known model at the time as well, <laughs> model and actor. So she knew she knew him from that, and then him being Haitian, her being Haitian, she she knew about him. You know, right, so. right. But um, I mean, like when I was watching, I, I would say because of playing dirty, like I really uh, took acting more serious. Uh, so if it wasn't for playing dirty, I don't know. I would have still been sitting here wondering. Ah, I wonder if I wonder if I could do this. So, you know, I'm very grateful, man. I tell you when I when I when you told me to go on Tubi and watch the whole thing, like, like I shed a little tear. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's like, awesome. Man. I was making sure no one's watching me crying. You know, no, like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but hey, it was man. only because of the whole. Because you know, um, the way everything just came together. And the whole, and I was like, wow, everybody did great, you know? And, and I felt, you know, I, I was amazed. And uh, yeah. I'm very, very grateful to you all, Kiki and, uh, you know, Wes uh, and everybody else on, on yeah. the, the whole team, man. Like, cast and crew did an amazing job. So um, oh, I'm man. here now, moved to Georgia, I'm acting. So if it wasn't mm-hmm. for playing dirty, I don't know. I, I may have still been in Boston <laughs> working corporate world. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, well, yeah, that's... I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. You, 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 Bev and Sasha that day, and I didn't. And I, I didn't, it's no secret. I didn't really like Sasha. I, I mean, mm-hmm. I made it known. Like, mm-hmm. but you, Bev, you, 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 Bev and Sasha, uh, Key, you know. I, I listen. I, I didn't pull no punches about it. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you something. 
Y'all, that that girl. Listen, y'all, y'all bodied it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, y'all, they, y'all. they really, they really got that mm. scene popping. Hey. Yeah, they really got that. They really got that seed popping. Actually, yeah. that's a good oh, wait, segue. Be, I'm gonna sh- to be clear. Yep. To be clear uh-huh. for anyone that's not getting what we're saying, those are right. three individuals that this was their first time at bat. Yeah. yeah. To be clear, yeah, this is their first yeah. time at bat. Yeah, because we didn't yeah. have a lot of time. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of time to rehearse a lot. Right. Uh, they were rehearsing while we were. Right. You know, lighting. <laughs> you know, right. but, also, <laughs> but also, this was their first experience. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Zasha, Zasha had been own... in one or two things, but this was Bev's first experience as well, yeah. and mm-hmm. as well as Wilner Zasha early in her mm-hmm. career. But yeah, and they they wait. They hold up, this was together. Wilner's first time. Yes, sir. First speaking. Yeah. <laughs> first speaking. Very wow. First time. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean that just showed you the dedication and everybody that everybody put in to their roles. You know what I mean? And um, mm-hmm. that's what I say. I want to. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna give them one more sneak peek. Then no more. They are gonna have to go to Tubi and watch it. But <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna give them one more sneak peek. This is uh, Wilner, uh, Bev, and Zasha in the scene where Sheldon makes his first appearance. And. I do not envy you. It must be difficult to work at top level all the time. Impressive. I can handle it. You said secure the room? Oh, yes. The room must be checked for devices and cameras. Before. Before what? Good morning, Miss Lomax. Mr. Chisholm. What a pleasant surprise. I am sorry for dropping by unexpectedly. But I had been calling and leaving you messages. But you failed to call me back. So you left me no choice. I do apologize for not returning your phone calls. Again, I was going to give you a buzz today. Well, that's good to know. But I'm already here. Can we get down to business? That's all you're getting. So listen, you get- <laughs> listen, listen. That's the, I, I said this to Wes last night when we were talking. That's when when well, no, when you walked when you walked up on set. This is how natural Zasha was, and I told Wes he didn't have to slow that down to mm-hmm. emphasize the look on like the look on her face was pure surprise. Like, wait a minute, what is this dude doing here? Like, he's here yeah. in the room with us. Right now, <laughs> yeah, she, like, that yeah, she the the <laughs> that's funny that that scene and that's funny because that that particular shot I put in later that was one of the later shots I put in because from that angle we saw Sasha's face man <laughs> yo she looked so surprised that he was gonna just walk in her her office like 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 <laughs> Sasha really knows like as, as much as I disapproved of a lot of stuff that was happening. With her while she was on set, like she is laughing, but I I was very vocal about it. Um, listen, she knows how to. She understands. She understands how she understands how to command a scene. She understands how to use her 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 facial. She has total control of her facial expression. Yeah. Like, yeah, like she knows how to just, act without speaking. She definitely knows yeah. how to act without mm-hmm. speaking with her. You know, I mean, that's part of acting, right? But you know, she has this thing where you know she kind of like you. You kind of she doesn't very have impressed. to say stuff. Yeah, she doesn't have to say stuff. And it's for for Kevin to be impressed is something because Kevin ain't impressed with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I got to uh, I got to head out, but it was yep. good to seven. Yeah, you got to hit me up. It's, Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Seven. I, I, I appreciate you, you, buddy. All right. I appreciate Alrighty. you, man. I'll well, talk to you well, later. Wilner, great job. Rod, always. I'll hit you up tomorrow. Thank Kevin, you. Talk. Yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. Right. I'll talk to you. Good night. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, so that was Seb. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah, Zasha, Zasha, she, I might as well go ahead and tell the story from the beginning. Not the whole story, but just um, you know, not the whole story. It's not necessary to go into any of that. But um, the so we have our um, table read, and we, this was at Seven's house, of, mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. We had Seven's house in Brooklyn. We have our table read, and um, I guess at the time the um, 
I think Kev, did you drive them there or someone yeah, else? Yeah, I drove. Yeah, I drove every. I drove everybody there to the house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyway. I guess this is what we talked about before with the boyfriend hanging around, right? Because <laughs> he's always, you know, we have a no spouse rule on all my sets, right? I don't like, you know, spouses around or whatever you want to call them, significant others, partners. No, you know, it's, it's, that's not a good look. And for, for obviously, for obvious reasons, right? Oh, distractions. So we, yeah, distractions, exactly. You're never going to get the right performance out of that person. With their 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 partners there, it's just not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Even if their partners in the business, it doesn't matter. Like you don't even see, you know, whoever that's married that's you know does Hollywood films, whether it's you know I don't know except for, right it, 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 except for Emily and and her husband. <laughs> well, I mean that's because he directs her and stuff like that, but he's not yeah. on sets that she ain't. That he ain't involved in. He involved in, right. You right, don't come right. to sets that you, you know, when she did the, the film with Tom Cruise, she, he probably wasn't there. You know, no, he wasn't nowhere near that. He was home with the right. kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, the whole point is this, not to, because, you know, we're not going to dwell on anything, but, uh, so we do, we do the table, we do the table read, and, you know, Zasha was definitely clearly distracted by whatever situation she had going on with the person she was with at the time and she just was not delivering and this is just a table read but still she wasn't delivering so kiki pulls me out and i'm telling you right now she gave me a stare that burnt through my soul (laughs) Kiki, (laughs) kiki gave me a stare that burnt through my entire soul, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Because she was like, because remember how we said I had my little influence where I said, I want this person. No, no, I want this person. I want this person. And then I ended up getting who I wanted, right? <laughs> you know, because she'd, she'd give in eventually. Um, she didn't know about Zasha's experience or anything like that. So she looked at me like, and everything, she didn't say one word. She looked at me and I'm just like, uh-oh. Cause she's like, yo, she's not, she's not gonna do this. So she pulls her out. And one thing everyone knows for for the Kiki fans out there, Kiki is what you see is what you get. She is not. She is that same person twenty four seven, twenty five eight. I say she is the same person. Ain't hey, nothing fun, phony about me. Yeah, nothing exactly. phony. She's the same person twenty five eight. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, she she kept it one hundred with Zasha, and this was probably the best thing that could have happened to Zasha because she looked Zasha in the eyes and said, "I don't know what you're not you're not doing this right or whatever." And you know, I, I'm I'm gonna replace you. I'm gonna recast you if you can't pull it together because I you know I put too much time, money. I travel here to New York. And this mm-hmm. you know just just to kind of put it down there. And Zasha said, "No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Let me, let me, let me pull it, pull it together." And to her credit, Zasha pulled that MF together. She did. And 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 and, sh- and from that point on, she was nailing everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, she, as a matter of fact, we came back the next morning mm-hmm. to shoot with Ron, and then we shot that scene, the courtroom mm-hmm. scene. She showed up to the courtroom. And she was ready. on point. She was ready to go. She was on point. And I was like, that showed me clearly that <clears throat> she was uh, obviously having a bad evening due mm-hmm. to whatever personal situation. But, um, you know, I, I, I have nothing but, you know, uh, I, I admire what she did as far as like she yeah. she she did it right. She pulled it together. And, and, and she faced Kiki and Kiki said what she said to her. That could... The average person that might break them, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying? because mm-hmm. here you are, you have this lead of this project, and you're told pretty much the first day that you might be replaced before yeah. we even roll camera. Because honestly, that's the time to replace them, right? Before we roll camera, <laughs> you know. So, um, Makiki kept it so real with her. She had no choice but to respect that, and she came back and commanded her respect. Yeah, she commanded mm-hmm. her respect by coming back and killing it. Mm-hmm. And that's that's that that was a great. I think that had to happen yeah. the way it did. It had to happen. It made her 
do what she had to do from that point on. So just wanted to bring that up because, you know, big up Zasha for making that happen for, for yeah. you know, because Zasha herself, like I said, she could have, she could have, it could have broke her. But Zasha's mm-hmm. a tough, she's a tough individual herself. So, and it wasn't know. forced, it was, it was organic. And yeah, it, it was, organic. you know, and, and the other thing too is that, that situations like that normally, when you when when somebody got their mind made up, especially when it's with the producer or executive producer, once their mind yeah. is made up that you got to go, you yeah. gone. Like yeah. it, it, it's it's never a discussion. It's yeah. usually your your agent. It's yeah. usually your agent get back to you like uh, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Um, they said don't come back. They said don't come back. <laughs> yeah. So that's like, uh, but like I said, it happened organically and it happened. We we made magic those few days that we shot. So that was. That was great, man. It was a great experience. I want to say to you guys, um, you know, and I'm I'm not going to hold you too much long. I'm going to give you a night back. But um, it was a great experience working with all of you. Yeah. That, that, that production, you know, all productions have challenges. But I'm going to be honest with you. Me and Kiki's talked about this before behind the scenes. At the end of the day, we've done other productions that's had way more challenges. Play It Dirty really came out uh, smooth compared to some other productions we've worked on in the past, you know, after that. Yeah. So, um, like the last two we did, Candy Shop and Sick <laughs> Situation. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's always going to be challenges, but the fact that we were able to film Playing Dirty in the time that we did, even though over time it took a while, and we've, you know, so we fast forward to now. It's on Tubi. It's available. Uh, you know, we did a lot. We 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 did have a uh, talk with with the cast, and we told them we're not gonna give up on y'all. We're going to we're going to get this thing distributed somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we we literally ended up waiting till. We ended up doing it ourselves, <laughs> pretty much, uh, because we went through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of no's, a lot, a lot of, a lot of maybes, and a lot of. A lot, let's call it what it is. A lot, a lot of, of fake, right? A lot of fake yeses. And mm-hmm. That's that's the bullshit part. A lot of, a lot fake, of fake yeses. Fake yeses. The people who say, you know what? <laughs> no, Nasa said, "What you eat, Kiki?" <laughs> Uh, I'm about to tell him, stop eating on air. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm hungry now. Yeah. <laughs> your cousin is telling Kiki, me did, cousin... did you make enough for the whole class? <laughs> no. Hell and, and, no. Here's and, 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 and the downside, because Kiki can cook. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And I yeah. know it's good, because she over there smacking away. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, actually, this is not good. It's not good. No, I'm not. just hungry. Oh, and I don't have any food in my refrigerator, but yeah, you know I can cook, and I yeah. cook. <laughs> I cook like it's seven days in a week. I cook like maybe four out of that seven. Uh, uh-huh. and you know I be killing it in the kitchen, but tonight I don't have any groceries, so I couldn't cook. I had some chicken wings earlier with some broccoli with butter sauce. Yo, you making us hungry, Kiki. Yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah, like, damn. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Kiki, and I, I got I got your cousin is hitting me up in my chat room tell me to tell you what's up. You know. Oh uh, that's what who, yeah, who Callie, Callie is hitting me up tell me. Yeah. Callie, Callie's oh. in the building. So I said, what's up? What up, Callie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, Cal- Callie the building. I'm gonna say this real quick before we go, Callie. And we'll we'll have him back on, you know, when we when we come off a of candy shop and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'll bring you guys back for the candy shop. But Callie, Callie had the illest. Uh, he had the best and the craziest audition ever. The dude audition. You know, we did it on the phone. He he comes on the Zoom, and he's auditioning. He's saying the lines. <laughs> This dude is like he's running. You know how that 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 affects when it's like you see the camera running, right? And he's and I'm like, what is going on over there with this dude? And come to find out, the man he's in Baltimore. It's okay, that's yeah, the first thing. My cousin. So the, the 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 man was basically there was two guys that got behind him that was looked like they was gonna him. try to rob him. While he's doing a <laughs> while he's wow. doing a live. Oh, wow. Audition. You can't make but, but, this stuff up, yo. 
he oh my he was Callie my cousin was, was doing yeah. a live video audition with me and Wes, <laughs> and didn't tell us at the time that these mm -hmm. guys was behind him, like trying to rob him, and he's doing his audition with us, getting ready to get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, he's moving a lot, but um, he's pretty good. You know, like he fits the role. Because <laughs> Kiki's like, Wes, well, keep said, it real with me. I said, you're being nervous. I said, calm yeah. down. Yeah. You know, I'm like, wait a minute. You got to say that over. You're not doing it right. You know. <laughs> Little did she know. And he like, told oh, us man. why he was. He, he wasn't focused. Little like did this. she know why he wasn't focused. Because he's about to get stuck. <laughs> so, wow! Shout out, city. yeah! Shout shout out to Cali. I was like, yo, we he he doing an audition while he, you know, what I'm saying it's like it's an episode of The Wire or something. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, like, he was like, yo, these niggas is trying to uh, trying to rob me. <laughs> like what? You can't make this up. I swear, you can't make it up. But yeah, we. <laughs> We'll get him while we do Caddy Shop. Ron, man, I just want to yes, say, like I said, uh, always a pleasure. It's oh, always I good love working to, with you guys. To, to I can't wait to work with you again, Ron. Yeah. Oh, and, me too. Let's do yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ron. It's always good to work with because, you know, you, it, it's good when you have actors that you you already know what they're going to bring to the table as far as their ability, right? Yeah. Um. Also, professionalism. Uh, professionalism on set is always, you know, obviously – that's key, right? That stands and out more to me. It stands I can out work more. With yeah. you, we can improv. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You're right. right. You're right. Professionalism always is there, and 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 yeah, we we always have fun on set and stuff like that. Oh yeah. But <laughs> you know, it, it it's it's always a professionalism, and professionalism is also showing up on time, being there, being early. Ron's always early. Ron's always. Usually, usually his car is sitting there. We pull up, I see Ron's car. I'm like, Ron, it's been, how long you been here? For an hour? Like, he's always early. And that's what it is, man. Yo, that's real talk. When you when you yeah. on time. Well, you know, I like to, I like to be late. there so I can relax. You know, I don't want to be rushed yeah. and like, and I'm like freaked out because, you know, I just made it. You want to relax. I want to go over my work, you know, and just yeah. be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ron. You asked Ron, how long you been here? Three days. <laughs> Just out here yeah. chilling. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I mean, this isn't, this isn't the line for the new Apple phone? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Rod is always, that's what you say, man. In, in, in production, all you actors out there, because, you know, that's our, a big demographic of this show, is, you know, uh, filmmakers and actors and stuff like that. All y'all that watch this show, trust me, professionalism <laughs> is key. If you on time, you're late. Be early. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Always. Be early. Yeah. I always say, I don't even say meet me there, but I used to, my, my term I used to say is meet me there or beat me there. That's what I always say. You know, right. meet me there or beat me there because I'm going to be early. So if you beat me there, <laughs> you super early. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Well, I want to thank you, Brian, for your time, man. Um, anything pleasure. else you want to share before we, you know? I, actually, I, yes, I have a question for you. I think okay. I found an Easter egg in the uh, first episode. Okay. That you might have put in. So in the scene, uh, without giving anything away, the, yeah. the scene in uh, Santiago's room, he's watching uh -huh. TV. Uh -huh. Yes. Is that the trade-off? <laughs> no, what it is, that oh. is, um, that is uh, another the TV same thing. project. Yeah, Kevin. That's okay. the same thing. That's another key because you saw, you saw, um, you saw Brian. Brian. Well, out the Brian. Brian. Right. I saw Brian. So I'm yeah. like, yeah. I wonder if that's the yeah. trade off. Yeah, I was gonna use the trade off as well. Um, <laughs> we 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 hired Brian for um, uh, Kiki has uh, a, a project that we do call um, uh, How I Became Wifey is you know yeah. based on her oh, yeah. life. Right? I remember that because so, you used uh, what's her name from. From this, from playing yeah. dirty, uh -huh. yes. Nikki, yeah, yeah, we right. used Nikki. She, that was great. I played, saw that she played young, young Kiki. So, right, um, Bryant, yeah. So Bryant was in there. Uh, that okay. was a scene from that. But it was a you, gotcha. you caught it though. It was an Easter egg. I caught it. it you, saw, you saw the blinky in his. You saw the blinky. That was a scene. That was a scene where, and this really happened in real life. Where I had this guy gave me a package. He gave me nine ounces of cocaine to sell for him. Oh wow! And I knew that I wasn't going to give his ass the money back. 
Wow. I, I just knew I was going to run off with the wow. you know, ran off with the reckless. With the... <laughs> reckless. So, like, I knew it. Like, I knew it before I got it from that I wasn't going to give it back to him. You know, mm-hmm. I needed a come up. So I took his stuff. I sold it. And uh, a couple Did of weeks later. you at least up when you stole it? I didn't steal it. He gave me the stuff. <laughs> I just but didn't. did you at least, but when you flipped, did you at least re-up after you? I did. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. As long as you did that. Wait a minute. Yeah. I, I got the question. The, 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 what you took, did, did you make more than what he thought he was going to get for it? I did. and But I, 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 I spent a lot of it, too. I blew a lot of it, too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but to make true. a long story short, he, he, he found me. He found me at one of my homegirls' house. Wow. So in that scene, Nikki is portraying me where mm-hmm. he ran up in her house because her damn door was unlocked. <laughs> and <laughs> he ran up in the crib and he had the gun already blazing. <laughs> and he was like, B, where is my money? And yeah. put the gun put the gun up to my head and everything. And I was like, yo, I did not want to give up that money that I had. I said, I don't have it. And and this wow. chick that I was cool with, I was at her house. She was like, she do. She got the money. It's right there. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. So he took the money. But Yo. yeah, so that's what whooped. happened. I was crazy. Yeah, she needed her ass crazy. whooped. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's, the, that, that's the scene that you that's see. That's the scene that you saw. Yeah, that's the scene that you see in playing Well, you know, because yeah. pretty much in. But, 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 but here's the it, thing. Ron, when when Ron saw that, Ron did the same thing I did. He had a flashback to that basement uh, to, 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 yes. to what's his face the studio, <laughs> the sweaty studio because we couldn't have air conditioning on. We were all drenched. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. Brian, yeah, you know, in, in the trade off, Brian's running around with a gun also, so it's like it could have been. That. Yeah, Yeah, that was the first thing. And uh, I know Wilner uh, has to go. I'm gonna let all y'all go, but I got one more thing to say to Ron before I let him go. Wilner, you know, just uh, sign before you sign off, man. If you can hear me, you know, shout out whatever your social media, whatever it is. If you have anything else you want to share before you sign out, Let's see if you can hear me. Maybe not. <laughs> Did he <laughs> well, sign off already? Thank you. There he goes. We thought you, we hey Wilner, we thought you uh, took off and and went and uh, started taking some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! You put yeah. on your birthday suit and started <laughs> taking some pictures. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> he said, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, but Wilder, man, we appreciate you mm-hmm. joining us, bro. You know, you know, we'll get up with you. And uh sorry you know, guys, it's not working. It, my, my um uh, service is a bit uh off right crazy. now. It's not really I, yeah, I can't really hear you guys. But nah, it's, it's all good, it's man. Real. <laughs> it's I, film, bro. I feel like I'm in uh I'm in uh, Haiti right now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> look, they gave him ha- look, they gave him the volume, they didn't give him the uh the visual because he paid half the bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yo, yo, Wilder, man, I, I, I get up with you, Joe. Right, okay, Wilder. Great seeing you. Have a good one, Wilder. Right. Bye, Wilder. Uh, well, well, yeah. So I, I, I want to say this, Ron, since you brought up um Easter egg. So, or <laughs> you know, shameless plug on Groupie, <laughs> on Groupie, the first chapter of Groupie. There's a uh, one of the um episodes. I think it's with the first episode with the Hollywood groupie. She, you know, we plug playing dirty in there. So I'm always gonna, we're cool. gonna do that, right? So you plug playing dirty, twice. and um twice in there. <laughs> then so actually she was auditioning for the Yoshi Lomax character, <laughs> That's and, right. and she literally starts saying the monologue. The I'm Yoshi Lomax. Oh Superstar God. attorney at law. And she's that is her thing, right? And she's saying that she gets cut off, whatever, whatever. So she gets the part. When she goes to shoot her scene for the film, mm-hmm. she's wearing the same black dress that Zasha was wearing. Zasha was wearing. No way. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> talk awesome. about talk about Easter eggs, man. <laughs> we I literally because I, you know, I keep them, I keep all the wardrobe. Zasha had mm-hmm. gave that dress back. And I had it. And I'm like, yo, 
We gonna do Easter eggs. Let's do. It. We gonna plug it. Let's plug it. That's it. So I told the girl, "So you wanna put this on for the scene?" And she's like, "All right, cool." And it's funny. She <laughs> grabbed the dress and put it on. And then after she saw playing dirty, because I showed her playing dirty a right. while ago, you know, the actress, and she was like, "Yo, that's the same dress." I was <laughs> like, "Yeah, man." I said, "You was Yoshi Lomax, so you had to wear Yoshi right. Lomax dress." Yeah, man. So that's that's I love I love Easter eggs, man. I'm hoping to continue. Me too. To do those, man. So that's what it is. But yo, once again, Ron, it's always a pleasure to work with uh, you, see you, always. talk to you, all that stuff, you man. We too. we appreciate you coming through and sharing uh, anything for you guys. Time you with us, man. You, you know, and everybody, we love you. Too. Ron, you always you got the same attitude, like <laughs> from from way back then to now. Yeah. Like, look at him. Yeah, yeah. It's like so there generous. You go. Same person. <laughs> there you go. Those right, are right, Ron, what, 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 uh, just shout out to social media. And also, are you still doing sled hockey? I st- yeah, I am still doing sled hockey. Actually, we got a tournament coming up uh, the end of March up in Massachusetts. Okay. Lord. Wow. <clears throat> that's t- you got to be tough. But yeah, my Instagram, everything is pretty much at Ron Rogel. So, I mean, that's, there you, you go. Know, Instagram, Rogel, Twitter, Facebook. Instagram. Everybody same. check out Ron <laughs> on social Thank media you. at Rogel. If y'all want to hire Ron to act, hit him up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, yes. Yes, yes <laughs> yesterday's price is not today's price. Today's Remember price. that. <laughs> Remember that. You you got you guys always have yesterday's time. price. Yeah. You guys all, you guys will always have yesterday's price. Okay, I That's appreciate right. that. Right. I appreciate that. But for the rest of y'all, yesterday's yeah. price right. is not today's, not today's price. price. So all right, Rob, man. We're gonna let you go. Give them that. All right, break. guys. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks for everybody who's watching and commenting. Yeah. Thanks. Have, have a good one. Right. Yep. Right, so Kiki, I want to show you this. I want to I want to show you this. Uh, no nonsense. Put something there. She said, "Yo, next time y'all in Georgia, can I come by? <laughs> I don't care. I'll be a gopher." <laughs> she said, "Oh, she, yeah, you sure? Yeah, can. Of course. Yo, we you know we shoot quite a bit in Georgia. No nonsense. So mm-hmm. yeah, yo, it's all good. We always looking for someone willing to help. If you're willing to help, if Keep progressing. We we progress and keep the progression going. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it's exactly. all good. Yeah. So Kiki, man, before I let you go, just once again, the experience for playing dirty was great. You know, me and you, we've worked on multiple projects. Uh, it it, it always it's always fun. You know, it gets it, it it we always run into challenges, but it always it's always a fun family love thing. You know what I'm saying? Until and I'm I glad. Get the damn nerves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh Lord, yo, all y'all out there for the first time in a long time, Kiki got on my nerves that last film we shot. She was killing me, man. She was. I was I like, I did. I yeah. knew I got on your nerves when you was filming sticky situations. I, I was, did. I was like, I saw Lord, the damn man. facial expressions you was giving me. <laughs> Boy, it's bad. Yo, if he making facial expressions, yes, he was. It's bad. Look, <laughs> it's bad. Because you know me, I'm usually I'm usually blank face on set. I'm focused. I don't usually I don't wear my emotions on my sleeve. I don't. And look, and I ain't even care. Look, I had a ghetto, and I ain't even care. I said, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> no, but see, you know what? This is the funny thing with Kiki, man. She's like, I say the same thing. I mean, obviously, she's not like my daughter, but I say the same to my daughter. I can't stay mad at my daughter. I can't stay mad at Kiki. Like, she, she'll, cause she'll say something and I might not like it and I might get pissed off. And then, like, later, she'll say, you know, she softens it up. She's like, yeah, you know, she'll say something and it's like, I start laughing. I'm just like, yo, you can't be making me laugh right now, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, look, I know I made you mad earlier, but <laughs> okay, let's move on. So that's yeah, why. Put, put, that, put that away. Yeah. yeah. That's why, you know, it's really always good to work together with you because, you know, is you, you need, I think everybody needs a person like Kiki in their life and on set, especially on set because she gonna keep it honest with you and i'd rather like i said i said to you the other day when we was on the phone i'm like yo i'd rather honesty than 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 courtesy fuck courtesy give me honesty yeah, yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> so i want to know what's really what it really is yeah. you oh, know no, she's gonna be she gonna be courteously honest <laughs> yeah you be courteously honest you know what i'm saying that's fine that's fine but yeah um, shout out your social media, Kiki, and um, you know we'll we're gonna continue to plug 
playing dirty and, and do more things and, and just get out there. So give me your social media and let everybody know where to find you. Um, Facebook is author Kiki Swenson. And then I have a Kiki Swenson play page. And then mm. um, Twitter is author Kiki Swenson. And then mm. Instagram is all things Kiki Swenson. All so you got it. You, you got anything new coming out book wise or, you know, what you rocking right now? Man, I always got new books coming out. <laughs> but ain't no damn money coming in, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm tired now. Yeah, we need some damn yeah. money coming up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah so that's these true. are the latest, the latest two. Right here. Oh, okay. Burning season. Oh, right. it doesn't come out until um wait a minute. Until okay. May. Until oh, May. that's the same color. That's the same color scheme as Deadline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then this one is already in stores. What's that one? The wifey's next hustle. That's what it says. I'm trying to. Lord. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wifey's I see it now. next hustle. That's in stores wifey's now. But yeah, then you need Kiki. Kiki, you need Kiki. You need me to get some of the goons and run up on the publisher and be like, "What's good? Where the money at?" <laughs> yeah, because they didn't change my contract. The royalty payout. You know they didn't went, man. They terrible. Yeah, wow. uh, yo, you got your fan here. She to said, say, you know, she people said this are was selling dope. less books. She said she buy the books. That's what's up. Oh, Wait, they, what they tell so you? Much. Wait, what yeah. you say? They told you people buying less books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're buying less books now. So mm -hmm. it's just like the record industry. It's like mm -hmm. they'll give you an advancement, and then they tell you you ain't earned out your advancement. Investment, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, these, yeah, uh, yeah. You know these young whippersnappers ain't reading. <laughs> yeah, so, that's the truth. But, uh, they're still giving me contracts, though. Well, yo, you, 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 they're gonna give you contracts because you know you, you dope. So <laughs> you know they go, they go find a way to keep giving you contracts. So um, you're planning on doing some stuff though to promote playing dirty, right? You yes, do, this like, week I'm gonna do like those books you, that you just saw. Uh -huh. Um. For those who have seen um, the first episode um, and they can answer some trivia questions, I'm going to let um, give them a chance to win those books for free. Okay. That's what's yeah. up. So I got all y'all out them. there. Yeah, that's what's up. You hear that? Yeah. No nonsense. So I know you probably already watched Playing Dirty, but go back and watch it again and, and, and get your, you know, get get your your trivia mind ready. Yes. She's going to ask well, some I trivia questions. And Kev, you are not allowed to be in it. So <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I want to know when you when you're going to in store appearance. You know, that's oh. my thing. That you know, in store. Nice. You 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 would try doing in stores. Yeah, I'll do some. I haven't done um like I've done a book signing like a couple of months ago, right before Christmas. But I, I I need to start doing those again, and I am, you know, because you know because we're doing the movies now. So yeah, I need yeah. to start appearances again. Yeah. yeah. My 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 question is more for for the listeners. Um, so what's what's next for Playing Dirty? When is the next installment? What is what's good? Um. Well, well it all depends on the viewers. Mm -hmm. You gotta hear that. Yeah, like, yeah that depends that. on the viewers. Like you gotta, you gotta watch Tubi, and we gotta get these views up, and yep. um, and that right there will determine when they'll release the next one. The next ones, that's how it goes. You get those views up, people. For all, let, let's let's say it again for the people in the cheap seats that may not be able to hear us. We gonna I, say this again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it to y'all like Roland Martin puts it. <laughs> we, we we asking y'all to put y'all contributions in. Mm -hmm. This your it don't, it don't cost you nothing. Cost you nothing to, to go online to yep. click like. Yep. Just look at it and to put it on your play and put it on your playlist. All you, all you got we, to do to sign up to Tubi is just give your email address. That's it, and that's it even cost you and, and literally you can watch Tubi without even signing in. But we want you to sign up so you can like it and put it on your uh your favorites list. And we only ask it for twenty six minutes and twenty one seconds of your time. Yeah. And you know what, for real, for real, you know what I've been doing? Well, I've had a couple people do like they said they've watched it again. And I'm like, you know what, just 
put it on your phone and just let it play like and just put it on you know on mute if you've already seen it a couple of times you understand what i'm yeah. saying yeah. you know we need to get those views up. drive them up yeah, yeah. drive them up yeah. drive them up yeah she no, said i was, I was, at, I was at the super bowl TVs. party yesterday and i was i was trying to put it on to before the game and the guy was like, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm putting I'm putting my TV series on." He was like, "I said, yeah, TV series on." He was like, "Listen, people came here to watch the game. Uh, you can't do that right now." So I was trying to get it on after the game was over, but some things was jumping off, and people was less interested in watching TV that I can't discuss in the open forum right Honestly, now. So perfectly leave that phone. Yeah, it's all good. I tried. So- it was like there was like six. There was like fifty people up in there, and I wanted all fifty people to watch the show. You know, mm-hmm. I was like, I think you guys are gonna like well, it. So no, it's a blessing in disguise. So now you hit those fifty people up, and we got fifty views instead of them all watching it at one time. <laughs> it's like, yo, yeah. hit them up, or you know, whatever you got to do, email them, shoot them a text, be like, yo, go watch that, go watch that. I'll make sure you have the link to send out to them, send it out to them, so we might get fifty views out of it. <laughs> so that's right. So Kiki, I'm I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna give your night back to you. We appreciate you coming through and hanging out with us. And, you know, we'll do some more stuff. I'll probably, you know, when you do your lives, let me know. I'll jump on them, too, and make sure people go to them and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. All righty. I'll All talk right, to you Kiki, later. Nice All, right. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, Kiki. All I right, want to see you soon. Hope you see you soon. All right. Yeah. Nonsense. All right. Bye. <laughs> All right. There she go. Uh... That was Kiki, man. Kiki Swisson always doing her thing. Yeah, she's um, she said, "Yo, I'm a real fan." No nonsense is going in over there. She said, you. "Yo, I'm a real." She said, "I'm a real fan, not a fake fan." She said, "I'm a streaming on all my TVs." That's what's up. Do your thing, girl. Streaming on all TVs. That's what we do. That's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So, um, that's what's up, bro. So there you go, man. Just in case y'all don't know. Go to Tubi. It's a free download Tubi. It's a free app. If you're on your computer, go to Tubi.com. You can watch it. Playing Dirty has been getting a lot of traction. Thank you to everyone who has been watching it and streaming it. It's popping up on different lists on Tubi, and it's it's getting traction that we need. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, she said bye to you too. Uh, no nonsense. She was like, bye to us. She, you know, Kiki is real, very. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've seen her interact with her fans in person. We did uh, when we were first doing playing dirty. She did some sort of appearance, and I've seen her interact with her fans in person. When you meet Kiki as a fan, you're like hanging out with her. You're laughing. You're joking, and it's like you just hanging with your home girl. You know, <laughs> and and that's how she is. She's very, very down to earth, especially with her fans. She's very humble and very, you know, uh, gracious and thankful when her fa- when she meets her fans. So mm-hmm. most definitely, if we the next film we shoot, no nonsense, if we shoot something with Kiki uh, here in Atlanta. You know, um, I'll definitely let you know. You can come down, you know, and, and, and chill out. Yeah. That's that sounds like a really good contest. The chance in the day on Saturday. Yeah. Just oh yeah, folks. That no, no. Like, that, that sounds like a right. really good contest. Great, great minds think alike. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm doing. I'm gonna be running contests for playing dirty as well as groupie. Um, we're going to be giving away, every, you know, things. We, we, it's gonna be a lot of things. There's some cash giveaways. There's uh, you know, a, a set visit, and the grand prize. Is a cameo, a cameo appearance in an episode of Groupie. So that's a grand prize, especially you know. So we we really we going hard. We all we want you to do is well, a Groupie is more than twenty six minutes. It's like forty one minutes. We only want forty one minutes of your time. We don't want no money from you. We just want forty one minutes of your time. Go watch it. Check it out. And then maybe exactly. give us 41, 41 more minutes some other time. <laughs> you know? um, but it, this is what we do. We're watch Big Bang. <laughs> right, right. All right. Just come on in and, and watch and, and watch the show, man. It's, just, it's both of them are great. 
uh, episodes. They both came out really good. I'm proud of both of the works, and I'm I'm very uh, blessed uh, to have two projects at one time on Tubi. So I'm I'm definitely, um, you know, I'm humbled and blessed about that. But just keep on promoting, man. Keep on streaming, and we'll we'll be all good. <clears throat> so that's hey, man. I said we celebrate celebrating. Black excellence. We celebrating black creators. We're celebrating black storytellers. It don't get no better than that. Kiki Swenson is the is the the tale of tales. You know, she she. We all know people who know about her or know of her or know her know her story. You know, she she was into the streets, and that's what that uh, how became wifey talks about. You know, she was in the streets, she sold drugs, she got arrested, she went to prison, she did fed time, she started writing, she came home, she wrote a book, it was a hit, and it was that and, 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 and let me back it up. Let, let's back it up a little bit. She did She did fed time, no snitching. No, every exactly. Time. She did every day, yeah. not, no snitching. Exactly, that's, that's important. So, so, so don't get so don't time. get it twisted. She literally I need to make did that clear. right. She literally did the time for not snitching. <laughs> you know, yeah, basically. So that's then to turn around, doing. then to turn around and do a book, and then have a judge use the book against your brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah they tried right to do that. That's, yeah, they tried to more. use that against them. So the bottom line is this: Kiki Swenson is that you know. That's the tale of tales, man. And she, you know, went from from something, went to her lowest point, and then became this best-selling author, and has been a successful writer for many, many, many years. Now she's, you know, after we met through chance, we met, and now I'm proud to say that I'm one of the first people to help well, introduce I, I, her I, to this medium. You know well, what I mean? Wes, I don't mean to cut you off. But I just, I was on Amazon's main, you know how I do. I'm on Amazon's main page, mm -hmm. and I typed in playing dirty. And mm -hmm. it comes up as top results with Zasha Legs. Kicking up <laughs> on the screen. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, man. So it's, uh, you know, I'm glad to have been able to introduce her to this medium. Because, you know, yeah, unfortunately, the sad truth is people don't read as much as they did. They used to. And it's it's a lot of authors are getting out of that medium and going into this medium because it's very, it's very uh, lucrative. It could be, and it's just, it's just something that, uh, you know, you know, a lot of, a lot of um, authors are doing. So she, she's here. I can, I can say that I brought her into that, and she'll, you know, she'll go on to do more stuff too, with or without me. She's gonna, she's got so many stories. Kiki, once she gets in, like the first hit in this medium, it's all, it's gone. She's gone. It's takeoff time because she's got so much stories, so many stories. She has enough stories to tell movies for the next twenty years. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's gonna be she's gonna be the black, the black not, not, just movie, not just movies. Yeah, yeah, not just not just movies, but also T V series. Like it's it's a lot of different ways that it can go. I mean, you know, it's mm -hmm. it's man, it's just content for days. Yeah, exactly. And no nonsense. We'll just share. Make sure we share the show. So a lot of people I, I know I wish more people would I see people in the live. I mean, not, not everybody's talking, but I wish there was more people in this particular live session, too. She was like, yo, I wish there was more, but we just share it, man. They'll get to see everything and hear the stories and stuff. But yeah, man, this this this, this is going to be... Yeah, Kiki can tell stories for the next 10, 20 years. The movies and TV series. It's just like crazy. And that's why it took us so long to do Playing Dirty, because there were so many people that were licking their chops when we... You know, I had to kind of help shield Kiki a little bit, you know, and give her my advice of what I know about this business because the 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 vultures the vultures were out, and they 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 hear Kiki. You know, we we go to one of the main producers. We they hear Kiki Swenson. They see the catalog that she has, and the vultures was out, man. So, you know, we had to really pace ourselves and say we had to say no to a lot of a lot of people that. Some people might question why we say no, but 
it's because of at the end of the day, Kiki Swenson, we're we're in a situation where, you know, we're in the times now where you can do your own thing and keep your intellectual property where, you know, in the back in the days, probably even back when we first started playing dirty, it wasn't as easy as that. You know what I'm saying? People would want, you couldn't really get deals without them wanting to take your intellectual property. So being able to have control of that yourself and still get to the masses, that's a blessing. So everything happens when it's supposed to happen. So that's why, you know, I urge everybody go out, stream playing dirty. And right after that, watch groupie. You know what I mean? Show your boy some love. Show all of us some love because we all work on these projects and we try to give y'all some good stories to to watch and listen to and observe and, and experience. So that's all I'm saying. That's my commercial for the day. <laughs> listen, y'all support. Listen, I'm, I'm just going to continue it on. Support black talent, man. Support Support your people, man. It's time. It's it's time out for, you know, us just sitting back. We always complaining about, oh, we never see nothing like us. We never see our stories being told. But then when our stories are being told, y'all don't ever want to show up to the box office. Y'all only want to do something as simple as go on, go on and and click a little link and put your email into a Tubi address and just hit like, <laughs> put it on your favorite list. Even if you yeah. watch it once. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Show some, that, even if it's that's not engagement. Important, right. at, at least at least engage. At least engage. Go. Yeah, engagement is, is key, Kev. That that like button and the and the uh you know, put in your favorites, that's engagement and that helps the algorithm on Tubi. And then when once Tubi sees the traction that we get in, they get behind it and they start putting it out there even more. And then that's how you open the floodgates. So that's that's how that works. And and no nonsense, you're right. This you know, the decisive right there in the business is so important. Yes, it is. And this business is very important to be decisive. You gotta be you gotta know when to say no and you gotta know when to say yes. Sometimes yeah. mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, it might be very tempting, but you gotta take these yeses and you gotta take the no's as well. I always say I use always use that example. Uh, you know, um Stranger Things got turned down by 12 networks and then the other four they they said no to until they got the right situation and that was Netflix so there you have it you know it, it all everyone goes through it so I, I thank everybody that helped out on playing dirty since that's what you know the topic of tonight you know uh kev Ralph what you did help out everybody that helped out on the project just being there and and doing your part. And we're going to, hopefully, everything is going to pay off in the end. And, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say about that in my Forrest Gump voice. So we, uh, we're reaching the, <laughs> <laughs> we're reaching the end of the show. <laughs> I know, Jed, hey. Um, but, yeah, man, uh, next week we're going to keep continuing to promote. We're going to probably have some more guests on, maybe some more cast members from either show whether it's playing dirty or, or groupie uh i am doing i gotta get the date yet yeah, just keep, stay stay in touch we'll let the members know we'll let everybody know on this channel there is a an official groupie watch party slash meet and greet that we're gonna do because i'm trying to rally everybody together the entire cast and people could come on and ask questions and you know, we try to put a nice little thing together. So that's coming soon, like within the next week and a half or so. Uh, we'll get the exact dates. And that's when we'll be doing the giveaways. Some of them. We'll be doing some of the giveaway- giveaways right there. It'll be trivia. We'll give do give away a couple things at night. It might be some cash. might be, you know, something else, some merch. And we're going we gonna to get it popping, man. So everybody stay tuned for that and come out. And that's it, man. We want to say thanks to everybody. Joe in the chat room, no nonsense. Everybody, uh, Joseph, shout out to Callie that came through. Everybody else that's Ron, you know, Ron, all our guests, Ron Rogel, Wilner, um, Kiki, of course, and you know, and Seven for coming through and helping us host a little bit and, and just coming. It was a nice little family reunion, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. That's all I got. 
That's all I got. Anything y'all see, uh, you know, obviously over the weekend, it was mostly Super Bowl stuff. So, you know, what did the Gar- Guardians, of, before we go, Guardians of Galaxy trailer, did you get a chance to catch that? I did. It I was, uh, it. it was, it oh, was okay. funny. <laughs> it, was, funny. It, it, it was, it I was, I mean, funny. it's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be good. You know, I, I think it's, I think it's going to go out the right way. You know, and we know that it's going to be just a, the end of this chapter. It's the end of James Gunn's era of it. Guardians of the Galaxy, they may split up. They may, you know, because, you know, in the comics, there's more teams, too. There's other teams that's formed, and they break into other factions as well. So there, there you have it. Um, she said she just shared a lot. I'm, I'm you know, no nonsense is killing it over there. Jones. And Indiana that's Jones looks really good. That looked, that looked really good. Uh, I'm, uh, hey man, yeah. I'm, in, I'm, 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 I'm interested. I'm definitely in. It got my attention. They really did a, a good job with this. They, you know, they did like the CGI work. Yeah. Yeah. With him. And it's like, Lord. And he really said, yes, he said Joseph, I did see my bloody Valentine. I didn't see the original. I didn't see the remake. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't want to <laughs> see the remake. I didn't want to see the remake of my bloody Valentine. I saw the original one. Uh, oh, okay. Who asked that? Joseph? Yeah, the remake of my bloody Valentine wasn't bad. The original. Well, the remake. Oh, the remake you're talking about. Well, you know, remakes and remakes. You very hardly find a remake that's better than the original. Uh, there's a lot of. I think. I think the thing, which is considered a remake, that's better than the original. Yeah. The, the, that's better than the very original. And, and 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 the uh, thing, and the Scarface, Scarface. Scarface. And the, and, the, and the prequel, the prequel that they did to the thing. The who? Uh, the prequel. They did a prequel. Yeah, there's, there's a there's a there's a prequel. Oh, I didn't see the prequel. Mm-hmm. I didn't. See, oh, I yeah, I yeah, no, movie. that was with Mary Whitehead in it. Yeah, no, mm. that that was a, that was a, that was a prequel. Hey, the way that yo, Ralph, I'm telling you, watch it. You'll appreciate it. The way they 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 ended the movie, literally. <laughs> With the beginning, like the the movie started out with the dog, and you were like, "What's what's the deal with the dog? Why is the dog?" Like I was confused at first, and then when, as I started watching it, I was like, "Yo, this is the prequel." Oh, and, okay. Mm. And it was, and it, it was. It, listen, it was mm. well. They 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 kept it grounded, mm. rooted in the story, and then the sto- Then it, it, I know I'm spoiling it. I'm sorry, spoilers. But it ended the way. The, the it ended the way the began. thing begins. begins. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you know, I'm not gonna say this was better, but it was really good, or maybe just as good a- as a remake to the original. And I'm gonna say that's Dawn of the Dead. Zack Snyder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, yeah Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it's super like because I really like Dawn of the Dead, George George A. Romero's version. Um, that's my but, favorite listen, one out of the whole listen, three. Listen, out of listen, uh, out of Night listen, of the Living Dead, A uh, Day of the Dead, and Dawn, listen, Dawn of the Dead was my favorite of that trilogy. L- let me tell you something, Zack Snyder. Did, if you want an introduction to Zack Snyder, Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead was done very well. He, 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 he bodied that. That yeah. that scene that actually what got me background. interested in him as a filmmaker when I saw that remake because I'm 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 I usually frown upon remakes and when I saw that especially because I was really partial to George A. Romero so when I saw that it turned me on to him as a filmmaker so I was like okay I, I want to keep my eye on this guy you know uh, and, and see what that's what's that that's when I went back and started watching other stuff too. Things that I might have missed that he did, I watched other stuff, you know. And then I was hooked, you know, him as a filmmaker. And I watched Watchmen. I was like, oh, this is dope. So, you know, it was gritty. So that's what it is. But yeah, um, very few remakes. I can't even think of many off the top of my head that was better than the original. Like, like Ralph said, Scarface, because it was such a different take on it from the original. Um, you know, what it you know, a different take. So that's yes, that was a better remake than the original Scarface. And um 
like I said, like the ones we mentioned already. So that might be a good little list to do. It'll be a short one, but that might be a good list. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a Real short one. Or, Remakes or, that or. were better than the original. You know, oh. Or equal to. Or at least equal. Yeah, we'll say equal to at least. That might save it a little bit, but, you know, if it ain't broke, they'll fix it. So that's it, man. Yo, we're going to get out of here. Uh, thanks, for everyone, for joining in. And we'll catch y'all next week. No nonsense, you're a godsend. And just like she said in the chat room, she always hold us down. Y'all go through. Y'all smash that like button. Coming in or going out the door. Doesn't matter. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Become a member even. Oh, man, I sound yeah. like Snagglepuss, right? Snagglepuss. Become a <laughs> member even. <laughs> join, the, join the channel. Become a member, even. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I'm old. I'm showing my age there by saying that. People are probably like, who? Who that? Yeah, um, it's a cartoon character. But yeah, join the channel. Become a member. Whatever you want to do. But just make sure you, you support this channel, man. And go, once again, for the very last time, go download Tubi. If you don't have it already, check out Playing Dirty. It, you type it in, you probably get what well, if you just type in the word playing, it's going to pop up. Playing dirty, you uh, go and check that out. Check out Groupie, the blueprint of a self made millionaire. By the time you get to like G R O U, it's going to pop up. So it's Groupie, mm-hmm. the blueprint of a self made millionaire. And if, you, and if you're scared to look for it in the Tubi app, you can search for it on Amazon. It will pop up if you have Amazon Fire, Amazon uh, 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 Fire Stick. Fire sticks, or, yeah, yeah, or the fire device or whatever it's called, or, yeah. or, or or Roku. It should it should pop up as soon as you do your search. Yes, 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 sir. And uh, thank you. We're gonna thank all of y'all in advance for going to check it out. See y'all later, man. We we'll get back at you. Peace.